It's been a while. It's been a while. We had to keep putting it off because something weird happened in 2020. I wonder what. It's weird. They kept on putting out new magic cards. It's just, it's this weird thing where I thought we we did a pretty good job of ranking all these things. And then all of a sudden, they kept on making more of all these different creature types we had ranked. Very odd thing. It was uh, all based off of that very, very famous thing that happened in 2020, nothing else, the year of Commander. We're here, we're back, we're ready to talk about all the magic cards that were released between Throne of Eldraine in 2019 and the end of 2020. Which, turns out, they actually released a whole bunch of new instances of creature types that we had ranked previously, which I'd say... Hey, if you're going to watch this video and you haven't watched all those hours of content, stop. You might want to go back and watch those because otherwise this is going to be a bit weird. Or not. Who cares? Be a rebel. We're going to start with the kind of go up the level of what got the least amount of things to what got the most amount of things. Jumping over the things that got nothing. Starting off with trilobites. We have a new trilobite in cryptic trilobite from Ikoria. How dare yeah. they? It's, it's very weird that they keep doing trilobites all of a sudden. Which, hey, I'm for it. This one is a certainly a better trilobite than scuttling sliver, I would probably say. But it's very weird that they did this. I Again. still think y'all did electrolyte dirty. You did electrolyte dirty. No, no sc scuttling sliver is cool. It looks, scuttling if I point at a trilobite and I'll say, hmm, I wonder what that does to me. I'm not going to think, oh, it shocks me with electricity. Oh, but do you think, oh, it'll make all of those slivers into trilobite shit? Look, motherfucker. Hey, hey. If, just, <laughs> that's certainly possible if it's a trilobite sliver. I will also remind you that Electrite is enough not of a trilobite that you yourself had to fucking tell them, hey, you missed this trilobite in the back. It fucking passes that underneath the radar. We, they didn't have to do that with Scuttling Sliver. They themselves knew that that was a trilobite. But regardless, yeah, the only second type sliver in that entire set, they figured out that that one was a trilobite. I wonder why. Let's go trilobite. Uh, Cryptic Trial Bite's pretty good, though. I think that's a good-looking Trial oh, Bite. Trial Bite whips. Yeah, it's it's it does weird cryptic stuff that's not especially Trial Bitey in mechanics. But then again, uh, <laughs> what the fuck is Trial Bitey in mechanics? Yeah, exactly. I think that's kind of the thing. It's like thus far, I, th I think being cryptic is very Trial Bitey. That's yeah, fair. You know, yeah. I'm actually with you on that. Yeah, which I guess I think I think this is a high end trilobite. Is I guess the kind of question here is: Is this better than Shorekeeper than or worse than Shorekeeper? They're both very it's good better trilobite. than Shorekeeper. It's better than Shorekeeper. I don't yeah. know. Like that. Look at it. Shorekeeper found a treasure chest, and you have to stomp on its skull in order to get access to that treasure chest and the knowledge within. That's pretty. And funny. Shorekeeper is a is a trilobite. Definitely. When I look at it, I do think of trilobite, but it's also really long. Nothing wrong with that. In a way that doesn't feel right. Nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with it. And it is quite long with it. But I'm just saying, Cryptic Trial Bite is more of the length I tend to think of when I think of Trial Bites. All right. Well, I, I'm, 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 I like Cryptic Trial Bite enough that I'm not going to make a big deal about this. But yeah. I think Shorekeeper is pretty great, too. I'm just saying, Cryptic Trial Bite... He's Kozilek's best friend. You can spend a counter to pay for his uh, color requirements. Can do that. It's true. Uh, next up, we got a phenomenal new imp here. We got Blim, comedic genius. Fucking I love Blim's proportions so much. A fucking legendary imp. That, that was not an outcome I expected out of the year 2020. Amongst other things. Could have been Pivlik. It could have been Pivlik. Yeah, well, it's this guy. He's on fire. It is. And he's, he's still on fire. Good. He is still good. He's on he, fire. Like he sucks, but that's like his character. Yeah. And he's, like, he's a weird, distended old man baby in his proportions, and I love that. Yeah. yeah he's one of those Rakdos imps. Yeah, he's, he's pretty great. Um... 
he's up there. Like in terms of like an imp effect, he's got a good kind of impish like level effect going on. It's he just it's gives things. Yeah, it's like it's not quite the like the baiting mechanic, you know, or the uh it's the inverse of baiting. It is, but it, it's similarly just messing around with junk type stuff. And I think yeah, that's you want this, right? You want this, huh? <laughs> Here it is. It you would be really funny if you had this. Wouldn't you like Blim- this smelly egg? <laughs> Blim it. comedic genius gives you the spicy keychain every single time. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, I think he's pretty good. Like I, he's pretty good. I don't know if I like. It sounds a little off to be starting this whole thing just going like, well, it's a new thing. I think it's the top of this list. But man, they've had all these years to off to kind of perfect the imp craft. This is a pretty fucking good imp. This is a good imp. I think this is the number one imp. Maddening um, is great. You, you but, dirty rat. You weren't using the oven to, to bake cookies. You were trying to give me the old spicy mana base. Give uh, me a spicy um, mountain. Like, Maddening Imp also similarly has the good, like, effect of an imp effect, but man. Cadaver yeah. imp's very smoochable. Yeah. I don't think that's necessarily a. a an imp quality it that is one you smooch. don't want to be smooched by an imp. Yeah, it's true. I, okay, I like fair, I like point. Cadaver yeah. Imp, and he does the stuff. I will say I do really like the fact that Blim's face is kind of just a skull. He kind of just it's got a skull. It's not just a skull. Is the thing? It's a it's, it's a skull with a gigantic fire. chin and skulls have big chins. It is mostly. I, it's got a particularly big chin. I'm saying I'm I'm agreeing with you. It's good, yeah. but it's not just a skull. No, I, hey, when I say just a skull, that is upside. He also does have he does have horns that are weird filigree horns, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I think he's up there. I do think he's up there. He's definitely in the top three, in my opinion, and that's considering how much I like Fetid Imp. Like, yeah, but Maddening Imp is still real good. Yeah, and there there's something to say about like. Is being legendary, does that make you less of a mook? I think no. in Maybe the case of mook. Blim, no, it doesn't. Blim is a legendary mook, which makes him really good at being a mook, you know? Yeah. Uh, Maddening Imp has this, this level of just, you know, fucking the Wicked Witch of the West's, you know, flying monkeys look to him, you know? When, yeah. when a Maddening Imp shows up, you're just like, oh, you... God damn it. Why did you play this? Why did you summon this? This sucks. Yeah. I, I'm going to go ahead and say, I think it's below Maddening Imp, but above Cat- a Cadaver Imp. That's okay. my place on Blim. Hmm. I can accept this. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I can tolerate that. God damn it. Blim, you piece of shit. Ugh. Oh, we actually have to do a honorable mention also. Oh, oh do we? Uh, there was Chimney Goyf from the, oh, the, Chimney Goyf the, the, from the the, the uh, mystery booster. It's not actually a card. I mean, yeah, it's not. It's not actually a card, but it has a card back that says it's actually a card. Yeah, but also it's not actually a card. Yeah, that's just how it is. So honorable mention to Chimney Goyf. We don't rank honorable mentions amongst each other. They're just honorably mentioned when it exists. <laughs> Target opponent puts a card on top of the hand top of the library. God damn it. Yeah. All right. On to Manticores. Manticore. Manticore. So we got one new Manticore and one new Masticore this year. Right? Yeah. Uh, let's start off with the Manticore with a uh, Dream Stalker Manticore. Dream Stalker Manticore has got that good Nyx look going on him, but also like. I'm only barely getting the man face off of Dream Soccer Man. He's totally got a man face. He's only yeah. got a bit of a man face. He's still got a snub lion nose and everything. He's snarling and that's fine. It's not even a huge mouth. It's he, that looks basically like just a. This is okay. You know Persian cats. Yeah. This is a Persian lion snubbed out that face down. You basically get that. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you give him a man face. Like yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I like, think you're hating on this cat's face. And I was like, no, that's that's fine. I think he's like he's 
he's got a mannish face. I agree that it's somewhere between just being a pure man face and a like cat face. It's kind of like a That's some sort of wild kinda- man. He's got kind of like a wild man of Borneo look going on with him, but that's fine. <laughs> the wild man of Borneo. But see you around. Not a downside. I'll, I'll say. I'm not seeing a ton of tail action going on is more kind of the thing I've got here. You can't see the tip, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's that's covered not a, up by his arms. It's not really a, a, a sign against it, but it's also not necessarily a sign for it. Flavor text does mention its tail, though. You gotta give it that. That's true. It does, yeah. Or so it's, it's presumably it's got it. Bronze. So yeah, it presumably it's does in there have in the it. back somewhere. Not, but that's it. It's just like a slightly mannishly faced lion with maybe a stinger tail that we can barely see or even, you know, point out as being a thing. Yeah. I, I also, and it's full of hate. I'm also not sure. That is the, a manticore thing. I will admit being full of heart hate is definitely a manticore thing. Yeah. I'm also not entirely sure of the flavor here in the sense of whatever. Why does casting the first, you know, what me casting a spell during your turn make you hurty because Dreamstalker Manticore in the underworld. It's like, okay. Yeah. It's actually a reasonably good re- aggressive red creature. Yeah. Sure. That's something just, I'll say about it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I don't hate it. I feel the same things about this Manticore as, as I did about Amonkhet Manticores. Which is, I'm, I'm strongly meh on the middle, like middle low on them. Yeah, I probably say I'd probably put it around the molten tail masticore slash manticore eternal range. Like it's not that's not a bad place to be, but it's not. I'm not getting a lot of mm, manticore out of this. Like in pure, I'm definitely not getting any sawbuck manticore off this. No, absolutely not. Yeah. I think it's better than Molten Tail Masticore, though. I'll actually agree with that. I think it's better than Molten Tail Masticore. It's definitely lesser than Chromanticore. Chromanticore is this, but actually works, I think. Because, I mean, they're both enchantment manticores, you know? There's kind of the same deal going on. This guy's just lacking the... the the panache, the the pizzazz. I I also don't think... No, last time, I don't think we really gave enough... Like... We didn't pay enough attention to the fact that the word chromanticore, it's a fucking gr- good. It's a, a good, pretty good word. Yeah, it's a pretty good word. But that's science, you know. Yep. I, I'm not saying that's a reason to go up the list. I'm just saying, man, chromanticore, good word. Good pun. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I said, we got a new master core in Spark Hunter Master Core. Oh. It's got the, uh, the usual master core in multi mouths. It's a robot. It's got the multi mouths. It is a robot. It is very clean in design for Masticor, but you know what? I'm kind of into that. It does all the Masticor things. Yeah, yep, it is. It but also, it hates planeswalkers. <laughs> this guy will fuck Jace up any day of the week. Yeah, the only, only thing I'd say about this guy is it is. A, this is gonna sound weird. A little lion-y. L- it little is a little. Lion-y. It's a Masticor. Yeah. It, but I the Masticors in general are more liony than the yeah that's a, yeah they don't have Shh. the man face they've got three yeah, mouths but i'm not saying that i'm saying like body type like original massacre and then like the redone the arts ri- on it the original it, massacre is a cartoon lion yeah so in the cartoon he's co- purple in the cartoonish of it makes some fun and then also like lesser massacre it's i'm not getting a lot of like robot flavor I, out of it it's the it is He's. It, I, I'm getting the robot out of it, but yeah. I, I have to agree with you that it's not as roboty as the other Masticors. It's much more. It looks much more like a a real lion that's made of metal. Look, you know, I, yeah, that I'll, is a Beast Wars ass Masticor. Look, it is all, all that's. But that's what I'm saying here is like I want something that's more like freaking like trans metals. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Oh wow. Well. Mm-hmm. No, it's it looks would look too much like lion. You need to have like dumb eyes. It needs to look like you don't know. It could turn into a speeder bike. It has to look like Trans Metals Cheetor, where it's like, what the hell is this? The hell is this? This this is barely even a cheetah anymore. I don't know. Okay, so I think <laughs> I I do like Spark Hunter Master sure. uh, In the okay, if I compare it among the Master Corps only right now, I think it's second lowest, but it's still above Molten Tail. You know. 
Yeah. And I, I do like it, and it's still fine, and it's still good. I think it's just kind of like below Heart Pierce or Manticore, almost exact middle of the road. Yeah, like I'd probably put it below like Crimson Manticore. That's also fair. Because I think that man's face is still very good. But it is. Faces. But no, yeah, I agree. Crimson Manticore is funner. He's, yeah, he's, I, you know, I'm actually completely there with you. Yeah. Crimson Manticore has got his medallion and his signage to say, this is my place. You could tell because I'm wearing the medallion. I always, think, I always think of the fifth edition art when I think of that guy. Sure. Because it's just real good Manticore art. Sure. Both of them have good, good faces yeah. is the yeah. thing. Yep. So I, I, are you guys fine with that above Chromanticore? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Above the Chromanticore. All right. A fine place for Spark Hunter Man- Masticore. Can't be worse than Flailing Masticore. I mean. <laughs> That's so bad. It's so bad. Gargoyles. So there's three new gargoyles released. Uh, unsurprisingly, you know, you had uh, Throne of Eldraine. Had a couple of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's start off with Lock Twain Gargoyle. How about? Um, uh, this is a nice standard gargoyle. It's very, very normal. Very yeah. okay. Yeah, it's a fine implementation of hey, this thing that's you know normally on the ground wakes up and then takes flight, and it, you know it has to do a little bit of effort to do it. It's a kind of a standard-ish implementation of that kind of flavor. It looks, I do like its design. It's regal kind of looking, you know, for a gargoyle. Yeah, yeah. it's on, on the big castle. Touch, so yeah. yeah, yeah, it's 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 a fine gargoyle. I don't I don't know if I'd like put it like super high just because like so even like in the middle range of the gargoyles, like you have some that have some weird good flavor. Like, yeah, like, sh- that's sh- what sh- I'm feeling. Like like shriek even like at like the shrieking gargoyle range. I'm not using to say it's above or below, but just as like a point of example there. Like uh, like you're ready at like something like boy, there's some special flavor here. Whereas this is kind of this is a standard. It's not the best version of the standard effect. You know, I'd say something like you know like Thraben gargoyle is a pretty good implementation of the standard gargoyle, or certainly manor gargoyle. Um, but this is it's fine. I, I don't love it, but I can't say I hate it. I, I it, probably, does, it, it does the gargoyle thing. Yeah, it does the gargoyle thing. But I have to completely agree that there's nothing special or unique about Lockthwain Gargoyle that really puts it above any of the other, you know, other ones. Really, I do think that it's uh, like I'm comparing it directly to Granite Gargoyle as another kind of generic gargoyle, and I like Granite Gargoyle a bit more kind of thing. So it's. I would say it's probably around basalt gargoyle. You would, hmm. dear. Hmm. 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 Yeah. I, no. I, yeah. I, yeah. No. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I. I'd probably say you're probably right. Like, the question is like. I, I think I like tower gargoyle more. Yeah. But that's me. That's me. Yeah, I was kind of actually saying I'd put it actually just above tar- tower gargoyle. I'm thinking yeah. above Tower gar- Gargoyles. Oh. Like, maybe even above, like, Nullstone Gargoyle. Like, Nullstone Gargoyle is good. He's got a good look, but... Nullstone Gargoyle's uh, coming to grips with reality in a way that I think is very gargoyle as a, you know, as, as a grotesque, you know, as just yeah. having that, that pose going on is very appropriate for a gargoyle, whereas Ka- Locked Wayne is a... Uh, more kind of standard. I can still see that as like, you know, on the side of my castle, just kind of hanging out, looking down at everyone, flanked by two of them, maybe, you know? Yeah. But uh, I don't think it is exactly as intimidating to spirits, you know? Doesn't really as, have uh, the coming of age story that Nullstone Gargoyle has. I get it. Exactly. Yeah. Nullstone Gargoyle is going through its gargoyle puberty right now, and it's uh, just really, really questioning the changes to its body when beforehand it couldn't move at all. I hate this Matt, metaphor, and I don't like that I brought it up. <laughs> I immediately have regrets. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say uh, Nullstone Gargoyle. Uh, it's better than Nullstone, worse than Tower. Uh, sorry. Worse than Nullstone, better than Tower. It's r- okay. right there on 20. Nah, nah. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Tower is fine. Don't get me but wrong. Yeah, it's, it's a Tower it's a, Gargoyle. It's, it's not a, not a, again, 
It's an honor just to be mentioned. It's honored just to be a gargoyle, unless you're Spire. Oh, that's a Spire phantasm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's jump on to the next one with Vantress Gargoyle. Now, I think this card is particularly interesting in the sense that if you kind of think about it, you know, Castle Vantress, it's the it's the the, the brain boy's castle in a way. Yeah. It's where the magic mirror lives. Yeah, it's kind of there's kind of there's this, this neat kind of like almost story to the flavor here in the sense of people doing like you know like stealing knowledge or like doing br- smart stuff and eventually enough time passes the gargoyle will wake up and then flip the hell out at you. This is a gargoyles Disney's gargoyles ass gargoyle. Eventually like you don't re- eventually you don't return your library books and the gargoyle comes and knocks on your window. Exactly. Yeah. He's coming. He's he eventually gets annoyed enough of you doing stuff out there that he comes out. He's going at you. There's going to be a late fee on this. <laughs> and then he, you know, punches you for five. He eats her horse. Oh, no. I, Just like I, takes I, a bite out of it like an apple. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> you know, the weirdly, same way the- a horse will take a bite out of a check. Yeah. The, yep. Weirdly, the mental imagery I had of his matching him, like unhinging his jaw and slowly, like just consuming the horse. Or, yeah, right. But that—that's just my own dumb Burke brain. Uh, if you can't return the books, I will take a singular bite out of your horse. Just one bite. <laughs> All right, I'm keeping them. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, I think this is actually kind of a neat gargoyle. I don't know, like I, I like I, it. Yeah, it, it, I like that it can't attack or block unless those conditions are met. And it's like that's yep. pretty. Yeah, that's yeah, a mechanically good that's gargoyle. It it flies. Yeah. It has a cool. It has the uh, you know errata text. Each player mills a card on it, which is mwah, choice. Love that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I think I like him better than like like. I'd put them like somewhere I think this above is there. Like I'd put them like somewhere above like gargoyle sentinel, but I don't know how high I'd put them. Cause, like, Cause leering gargoyle is really good. He's showing his ass and everything. And that's pretty, yeah. I cannot put him above. Leering gargoyle. Put, yeah. Yeah. But, but I'm no saying like, in that vicinity is what I'm saying though. Like in terms of like pure, like gargoyle sentinel, gargoyle sentinel, it's a good generic ass gargoyle. This is like a generic gargoyle with a lot of good flavor layered on. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I, I still think the Gargoyle Sentinel is like a perfect execution of a Gargoyle. Gargoyle Sentinel is like, that is flawless Cathedral Gargoyle design, I think. Yeah. yeah. But, but, so, I don't know, put him above, like, Stone Cloaker? I think above Stone Cloaker. I think above Stone Cloaker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's... I think it's, like, on the same level of, like, that's kind of a, that's a neat and creative Gargoyle idea yeah. as Stone Cloaker is, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. But, I and it's good. That's good. Um, and then we had uh, 2020's Skyclave Sentinel from uh, Z- Zendikar 3. What are you oh, even guarding? A Skyclave. Skyclave. It's I, yeah, but it's just not even like plopped on. It's just in the middle of yeah, he's, flying it's, around like a weird flying This is Zendikar, man. Rocks float. Yeah, because yeah, I guess for, for, for reminder for everybody, the whole deal with the Skyclaves is that they're ancient kind of like a core. They're ancient Zelda dungeons. Yeah, their ancient core Zelda dungeons where all their old technology all of a sudden accidentally got launched into this, the sky again. Like inverse Skyward Sword type shit. Yep. A- and now there's some stuff protecting it that was just left in there by the core who were ancient warmongers. Um, like this guy. And fascists. Yep. So, I mean, this guy's Surprise! got... This guy's got the kind of thing where, hey, if you kick it with a mana, he'll stop being purely in a defense and can go on the yeah. offense. It's kind of a neat thing. He'll, just, he'll be more powered up. He's got a neat, he's got kind of the whole like uh, hedron look and kind of the whole core design built into him with like his oh, wings and stuff. The wings with that motif is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a neat look. I don't but, like that he's a weird flying dog though. It's, I mean, it's a dog with extra steps is what's going on on that design. It's kind of more like I a mean, flying dragon, but. Uh, <laughs> the dragon's basically a dog with extra steps, though. I, How dare I, you? I, I've always said this. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't. I don't hate him. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's just more. I don't hate it either, but I just. I also just don't feel very gargoyle energy j- coming off of it. Yeah, you, like can, just, you can pay a little bit to build a gargoyle, but if you pay I mean, a little extra, they'll put an engine inside of it. The mechanics are fine. I'll say that. It, it definitely doesn't deserve to be low. I'll say that. Yeah. I just, 
aesthetically, it is not my first choice if I'm going to be, you know, putting it up on my cathedral. Okay. Yeah, because like, yeah, there's like a lot of gargoyles do the gargoyle thing well. I think actually gargoyles are one of like the types that they're often like the most consistent about, you know, yeah. being pretty good about getting the flavor, which, hey, that is not a strike. That is an upside. I'm glad that, the, you know, hey, they've got this thing down lock. There's other creature types that they're kind of just like, yeah, whatever. Um, but that's a good does, limited archetype. Yeah, but it does mean that we kind of have to sometimes be a little picky about where stuff ends up when it's on the high on the list. When there's a lot of stuff doing the same thing, you know, either mm -hmm. doing something really different, unique, is special I mean, sometimes, or doing a particularly our, good version of it. Our number nine and ten are both very good at doing the gargoyle thing. Yes. yes. And I, so, I, I would say that this is not a high up gargoyle. I think this is a middle of the road gargoyle. Yes, I would agree. Sure. What are you thinking? Um, I'd probably, honestly, this is, might sound a little weird. I'd honestly maybe put this above like granite gargoyle i like think I'll, below granite gargoyle exactly yeah something in that area basically where it's like <laughs> like dark lit gargoyles kind of where we're getting where that dark lit gargoyles where it is because it looks cool which yes it, it looks cool but like that's a, that's a pro for a gargoyle has absolutely. To look cool. absolutely it does have to look cool yeah but i'm just saying that this looks okay but it's got a decent mechanical thing and then granite gargoyle looks fantastic oh but, granite gargoyle that, but, that's the thing. Granite Gargoyle, I think, looks way better than this one, all things considered. Yeah. They, I mean, they I look put it, very similar, by the yeah. way. Uh, yeah. No, no, yes. Granite Gargoyle's got identifiable eyes. That makes it better. <laughs> Unlike dogs. Dogs don't have identifiable oh, yeah. eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you found, I would put so it. So like, you say above and you say below, huh? Yeah, I say I'm, below Granite Cargo. I mean, yeah. I'm saying that in that vicinity, I'd say. But yeah, I'd say like maybe I could go below. I'm not I'm not so attached to above Granite. It's in that vicinity. I think right below Granite works. Yeah. It's wait, hey. more, more accurately for how I w I'm judging it, it. They are similar in like a, uh, in, you know, like silhouette. The thing is that Granite Gargoyle's like simpler art, I think works really well for it is what I really mean. Also, it has visible. Oh, a dog with extra steps, but they took less of the extra steps to draw it. Exactly. Got it. Okay. So I, so I guess my ideal gargoyle is a dog. All right. Mm hmm. That explains some things. Yeah, remember how we said we were going to get screwed when Eldraine came out because it would definitely have trolls? We were right. And then yeah, there wasn't that many. Yeah, and then it's like, well, if we ever get a Viking set, we're going to get screwed again. Yep, it seems like that's definitely happening this year. Turns Which, out there's a realm of trolls. Troll mm -hmm. world. But that's for later. Uh, yep. so actually, first off, let's, let's give an honorable mention here. There is actually a, another one of these fake, not real, actual cards in... Uh, what, what's it called again? It's the, the Mystery Booster. No, but what's the card name? I forgot. Oh, High Troller. High Troller. High Troller, that's right. All targeted spells and abilities cost two less and have their targets chosen at random. Which is not really a troll effect, but also... It's an internet troll! Also does not matter. It's not a real troll. Hashtag, not a real troll. Fuck them. Who cares? Yeah. Garbage. Garbage. Don't care. We. <laughs> I'm right. rating it low in the honorable mentions. Yeah. So now I'm torn between these two... These freaking man... These sort of Eldraine trolls. I don't know which one I want to start with here. Well, let's start with Mirasa Brute. Let's let Mirasa Brute have some time before he drops. <laughs> you, three you're levels. gonna freaking do Mirasa Brute dirty like uh, this? Yep. Oh man, Mirasa Brute's not as good as those other three. I'm sorry. It's not. Uh, so yeah, Mirasa <laughs> Brute is a three mana three three, which is fine. But it's for those trolly, it's in that space. For those who don't remember from the last time we went through this, we don't think that kindly of trolls that are just big boys we want a little bit more like troll flavor in there a troll that's a big boy is just an ogre 
You yeah. know, like, come yeah. on, give us the good stuff. An give us the flavor. With, yeah, an ogre with under a bridge or something. Be yeah, under a bridge. Do something. Or be somehow like weirdly gluttonous. Or regeneration is a classic fantasy trope. Hard to kill. Yeah, yeah something. Yeah, hard to yeah. kill because they don't do regenerate anymore for, yeah, but, genu- but, for good reasons. Yeah. But regardless, like, we want a so- little something. And that, you know, Honestly, like this is, puts this thing kind of right around harvester troll in terms of actual troll flavor. Like the look of this thing, perfectly fine. Like just like harvester troll. Yeah, it's a good troll. It's a good it's looking okay. troll. It's a good looking it's an troll. Okay looking troll. It's just, but it's just a, a green big boy, and it's not it's, even that big um, of a boy. Zendikar trolls just they don't they just look like that. I don't. Yeah, they just look like a guy. They don't. Yeah. It's because it's the like the. The adventure realm. And yeah, everything's the, hard. D and D trolls look, look kind of like this. That hey, kind of thing. I don't want to go on an adventure like that with this <laughs> yeah. troll. So I don't know. Like the kind of question to me is really is like, is this better than Harvester Troll or worse than Harvester? Troll? I think he looks cooler than Harvester Troll. Harvester Troll looks like an idiot, but he eats something. Yeah, that is true. Well, yeah, Harvester Troll does have a little like he, has he a eats bit something. Of he eats a creature or land. And you put the counters on it. This he, guy doesn't do anything. Yeah, he's got a tiny little bit of flavor to him. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. Like, he's got flavor. I, to like, him. I have to admit, I like Harvester Troll's weirdly very smooth, silky hair. You would. Yeah, I'm. I'm inclined. You would. I'm inclined to put this below Harvester Troll. So yeah, I'm actually there with you. Yeah. All so right. Bro- See, we did a favor for for Marasa Brute because now it's number thirty two before it drops <laughs> to thirty five. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Let's let's do this alphabetically. How about? Because man, all uh, these all these things are so good. Like we, we knew that Eldraine was going to have good trolls. Because oh, I think of course to do reverse like alphabetical. Oh really? You want to start? Yeah. Okay, fine. Keep fucking throwing things in here. <laughs> Freaking gluttonous troll, man. Yeah. Food is such okay. Aside semicolon, food is so good. Flavor food wise, was a, food is very, good. I agree. <laughs> food is pretty good, and also food tokens are pretty. They, they used food tokens really well. They used food tokens way better than they did clue tokens, and I thought they did clue tokens fine. You yeah, know, like, I, I like clue tokens a lot. But man, like the flavor of this card haha this is a bridge troll that just eats junk and the, the art just him eating some chickens and there's just skulls around there and man and he lives under a bridge he lives under, he's a, bridge. Also under a bridge under a bridge yeah. he's hard to kill because he will just eat something and get bigger yep mm-hmm. and he just will he just pound it down man man gluttonous troll I don't know if this is better than Moss Ridge Troll or just below Moss Ridge Troll, but it's up there. Yeah. Oh, man. I really still like Moss Ridge Troll. Like, Moss Ridge Troll. I I love Moss Ridge Troll. Just Moss Ridge Troll has the line if it would be destroyed, regenerate it. And it's also freaking huge. It's, I also actually genuinely adore, like, like you just said, Moss Bridge Troll becomes a 25 25, which is stupid, and I love it, you know? Like, it is, it is definitely in that vicinity. Like, Moss Bridge Troll's got the huge thing. Thrun's got the kind of, you know, he's the cool troll dad, which is kind of a side thing, but hey, I respect it. I'll, Uh, I respect Thrun, and I hope he's okay. And then Trestle Troll is a was our basically our previous like good just like hey weird Edie like bridge troll. troll yeah, yeah which I still great flavor that bird had great Troll does it better just I think, flat out Gladys yeah, Troll does it better and uh, I I do think it's either one or two like I I do Thrun no disrespect Thrun but yep. Gladys Troll is either He's the talking to a chicken before he consumes it. Yeah, it's true. It's also, probably one. Can, can we also Damn talk it. about? Can like we just like, like, hey, future me, zoom in on his mouth, please, because boy, also <laughs> That's look a at the situation his face. going on. The, yeah, the, and just the way he's looking at that chicken. Man. He's gonna enjoy this, man. And then he's got a second chicken in the other hand. Man, I, I, yeah, I, man. He's I good. love yeah, Moss Bridge Troll, but I think this is actually the new number one. Yeah. <sighs> I agree. And yeah, here's I the mean, thing. I don't even know if he's going to stay at number one. I don't think he might. Spoilers, yeah. he's not. There's a reason yeah. I do these in reverse order. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, this is the new number one, and uh, yeah, it, shit, they did a good job. What can I say, hey, let's guys? Talk about feasting Troll King now. Feasting Troll King is so good. He's so good. <laughs> he eats a bunch of food to come out of the graveyard. He regener. He basically has got regenerate, but with food. There's nothing better than, it. and he's a troll noble. Someone kick this <laughs> troll! Somebody he's, bel he's belching out! Look at that! He's gonna Oh my god! He's, he's belching out bones right now, yeah. Ah. He has been ennobled. He's got some stuff written down that says he's I the love troll how king. his weird I love how his weird face is distended and it seems like he's got like ears on his neck. You he, know? He, he looks grotesque in the best yeah. kind of way. Uh, he's carrying around just gigantic cauldrons of soup because he's just eating a bunch of soup. Uh, and then if the weird, the funny thing is that specifically you can kill him and then you drop some freaking soup on the ground and he comes back. He, he just kind of, he's on the ground, just dead. But food hits the table and his eyes just pop open. Oh, yumma yumma. <laughs> Oh, oh that's Beasting really Troll King is so good. It's the new number one. It just is. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. To Beasting Troll King. <laughs> troll Noble. Truly, they're all Troll Kings. <laughs> uh, hashtag Yas Troll King. Um, hey, let's talk about Cockridge Troll, the new number one troll. Cockridge <laughs> Troll is so good. It's a freaking Goat Bridge Troll. There's, it's so... It's like... If this was creates three food tokens, it would still okay. It's it's like comparative to uh, feasting troll king, but it's specifically goats. This it's one's so skipping the middleman. It's, it's they're so not even good. food yet. Yeah. It's like it's like you. This is the really funny thing. It's like it's like Watts. You're not even leaving this to imagination. You're just basically put printing the entire fucking fable on the card and saying, and "Hey, I'm Billy here. Goats Croft, just straight up here we are. Here you go. It's on the card. You can live it." And it's like you know what. Hell yes. yeah. Hell I'm into yeah. this. It's kind of like the absolute pinnacle of troll design when you get down to it. Just yeah. having Billy Goat's Gruff on a on a card. Yeah, like, and it's easy to poke at. It's like, well, who does not regenerate? Which, like, yeah, it's fine because there's there's a lot of troll flavor out there. There's a lot of different directions one can go. Like, it's not a, it's not an all or nothing thing. It's like, how do does the card individually capture troll? God. And it, I'll say the best thing about Eldrain. Was definitely not how it kind of broke standard and everything, no. but <laughs> the way it mix and match things, just because I definitely had somebody put my Clackridge troll under a sleeping spell, and I had to true love's kiss that troll. <laughs> 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 That's the magic of Throne of Eldraine. Yep, and there's not a you single thing make... about that you regretted. No, nope. I would put my lips on this troll any day. Uh, it's oh. good. It's good. It's the number one troll. It just is. Yep. Congratulations to the three newest number one trolls. And also, <laughs> like, you're also brute. Like, <laughs> you asked me like uh, two years ago if Mossbridge troll would ever be number four, and I don't think I would have, I would have, like, yeah. agreed with you ever. We'll yeah. see what troll time does. We'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have four new skeletons. Hooray. A varying quality. Um, yeah. what? Let's start with Deathless Knight. How about? Okay. Uh, it's a skeleton knight, which is I think is a pretty neat thing. The skeleton's got a job. Something I always appreciate. Deathless and skeleton knight in particular is like an extremely choice, mwah, perfect type line. But yep. I've got a real problem with Deathless Knight. What's your problem with Deathless Knight? Is that a skeleton? It is a skeleton. Are you sure? Because I'm like pointing at it. I don't see any skeleton on this art. It's if you look, if you look very armor. closely at his face, he's got a skull he for has a head. He's a skull for a face. He's got, I honestly, all I'm seeing on that skull for a face is that he does, lacks a nose. Like I could see. He's absolutely a skull. He's got a skull for a face. He's a skull for a face. I don't know. He's absolutely, absolutely is a skeleton. skeleton. He's wearing armor. Yep. He's being okay. a protective skeleton and not letting all the bones show. Yep. I will say. <laughs> It's, that's why he's a knight. Yep. So I'll say this guy is good in the sense that he does, you know, recur. It's a, a prime yep. skeleton characteristic. I like a skeleton that recurs, and it's not, it's not the only requirement. We loved like Especially if you just, like, eat a food, and he's like, oh, shit, pie. Yeah. It comes back. 
Yep. <laughs> that, is, that is a good point. Pi brings yeah. the skeleton back from the grave. Yep. One of those weird instances in both black and green of a, of a creature with haste, say secondary and tertiary color for both of those, and that's considered acceptable no, for it's, mana it's cost. Green gets haste now. As it, a secondary thing, though, it's still not it's still not its primary. Like it's yeah. still not primary in it. Pretty sure it was primary. I thought red was primary, but I thought they were both red prim is primary haste. You, yeah. No questions asked. But I will, I will say it's weird that this technically can be a mono green skeleton. Yeah. If you I paint mean, only green, it, it can be a skeleton you play in a mono green deck. Yes, but it is not a mono green skeleton. Uh, yeah, C color identity. There is a slight difference. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not saying it's a thing against it. Just, just a funny thing. Yeah. I wouldn't put this necessarily super high. I'd probably, honestly, I'd probably put him somewhere in like the Viachino skeleton range. Like, you know. Like, I'm putting him lower than that myself. Really? Well, he's, yeah, he's, no, I'm. I appreciate I'm, his job. <laughs> Uh, I'm still not convinced, honestly. Like, I barely get any skeleton vibes off this art. It's absolutely a skeleton. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Sure. I'm really not feeling it. The yeah. more I think, I've been looking down this list further, and I've been thinking, and then I looked at man or skeleton. I was gonna say, I've been filled with energies now. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you're saying some things about our friend man or skeleton. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good point. See, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, Let me scroll down probably more. around like Rakdos Spring Leader. And around there, yeah, you know, yeah, you might be right. I something. think he's better than the the skeleton walls, the barrier of bones thirty four. I think he's better than that. What you put him like around like? Uh, I'd put him right above barrier of bones. Hmm. I honestly wouldn't. I, I barrier yeah. of bones is a is a barrier of entire skeletons. Yeah, I, th and I can point at those and say, hey, those got ribs. This is a skeleton has befriended a horse. Gross. It's good, it's good I would it do that. Is that a dead horse? It's kind of hard to tell. Who can say? Maybe the, maybe the horse is actually the skeleton. <laughs> I, can, I can't tell it any better on, that guy, on the, the, the rider. How dare you? <laughs> Don't mistake the rider for the steed. How dare you? Perhaps horses were the skeleton along the way. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Let's put him below wrestling. No, no, I don't call it. No, what does that mean? Let's put him below wrestling. Let's put him below wrestling. Let's put him gang. All right. All right. Mosk pit skeleton. He's not one of these uh, plant skeletons. He's Golgari-esque yeah. stuff. Comes back, uh, is a, I like the silhouette of Moss Pit Skeleton a lot. It's really raggedy and gross, you know? Yeah, I yeah. do like the, the kind of the flavor here is that he specifically comes back when like plants, because like, plus one, plus one, plus, plus one, plus one counters being put on stuff. Sometimes is associated with like a kind of a plantal growth type thing with the Golgari mm -hmm. flavor. So it's like, hey, when plants grow back on stuff around here, those plants might bring the skeleton back with it, basically. It's kind of neat. Sure. Yeah. I love the spider webs is still hanging off of it. It's it's yeah. a good look. So many different like elements of design going on in Moss Pit Skeleton that really amp up the skeleton flavor. Yeah, like it's I like I, I like the the style of Zendikari swords, how they have all the things cut into them. Makes it look like the score the sword is a skeleton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Normally I don't like the style, but I have to admit that I it actually works here. It's got practical reasons. No, it doesn't. Sure, they it made up fake practical reasons. Yep. How dare you? That's what they did. Uh, Can't yeah. believe you would disrespect the Braves and Dakari people. <laughs> I'm disrespecting the Braves and Dakari people's stupid swords. Uh, and not disrespecting the Braves and Dakari people in general. They beat the Eldrazi, damn it. Never forget! <laughs> hey. Uh, gay watch beat the Eldrazi. But. How dare you! I'm there was a Zendikari among the Gatewatch! Yeah, I want to directly she caused compare the this problem. to. Yeah, was... They all caused the problem. I want to directly Everything. compare this to the uh, the like Golgari skeleton. This feels most like, and that's a rot farm skeleton. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I do. And like I'm going to rot say I like rot farm skeleton a tiny, tiny bit more. And this is purely because I think its sword looks less dumb. I oh, think that's a dumb no. reason. But no, no, no. It's a scimitar. That's important. That's a skeleton ass weapon.
It is, but also, I don't know, man. I, I do think I actually like this thing better than Rot Farm Skeleton, but I think it's largely just because the the interplay of the visual, like this is I like the look of it a lot. Yeah, I like I just like the like the way that the light passes through the bones and also the plants and lichen and also the spider webs. Like that's that's mwah, mwah, just yeah, love no, that. I, I, I can see it above it as well. I have I have a relatively petty reason for putting it below. Yeah, you do. Like, but uh, I think it's a petty reason that still holds water. I sure. Pro- I probably like it better than Champion of Stray Souls. Like, it's honestly like it's Champion of Stray Souls is like, it's fine. It's a mythic skeleton. That's kind of cute. Um, it r- brings other stuff back and brings itself back, but it's it's fine. I wouldn't put it about a Viachino skeleton because that's still hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Viachino skeleton's too funny. Gotta love a type a type line that's exactly the creature's name. Yeah. G- do you have any issues with putting it just below the Ishino skeleton? I have. You no know idea. where I stand on this, so like, there's it's most at the red. All right. It's a good skeleton. It's a good skeleton. Mm-hmm. It's a perfectly fine skeleton. That I like a lot. <sighs> hey, can, can we get the next alphabetic skeleton and go to the the last skeleton? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Underworld Sentinel. Uh, it's kind of actually, interestingly, it's the best point of comparison. This is, in fact, Champion of Stray Souls in that this is a kind of... They're underworld- both uh, Theroskeletons. Theroskeletons yeah. are both kind of associated with a kind of underworld protection but, type stuff. I have to admit... But so is Asphodel Wanderer. Yes, yeah, true. And I, I, hey, Asphodel Wanderer is a perfectly fine skeleton. Yes! It's low I down there, so. but that's because it's the gatekeeper of, of the good skeletons. Really good skeletons above that. Yeah. Yeah. I like I, funny thing aside from Asphodel Wander, Theros has a weird consistent thing. Is that have they haven't they printed a rare or mythic skeleton in every Theros set, or rather in every Theros block? I guess. I mean, there's only been two, did, but yeah, <laughs> in both, yes. But they have done it in both. That's the yep. important thing. Yeah. And it's, I respect the respect that Theros has for skeletons. Is what I'm saying. Sure. I mean, they have they have to because of uh, her house and stuff. Showing. Yeah. Dragon teeth yeah. to get skeletons. Hey, but no, nothing hey, wrong with hey, the, paying the. the you never much mail off Ray Harryhausen. I'm yeah. not. But. There's nothing wrong with paying homage to Jason the Golden Fleece and everything. I will mush mouth it just because I don't didn't remember how to pronounce his name, okay? <laughs> oh. I, that's <laughs> I'm putting it out there. I'm going, all, I'm, I'm going all in from hiding the fact I don't know how to pronounce his name to wearing it on my shirt. He went down to the market, got a crab, fried it, and then wire rigged that thing up. You respect <laughs> that man. Yep. I respect that a lot. Wow. Okay. I've never heard that story. Yeah, I did not either. Uh, I don't know. Like, it's just interesting in the set. He's, he's honestly the flavor captured here. Less skeleton, more underworld cop. It, yeah, more it's, sentinel. He's yeah. very strong on that. It's what the Theron skeletons do. Sure, which I'm I'm not objecting to that. I'm just saying yeah. it it's a fine capturing of that flavor in particular. But also, I'm not going to show a ton of love of it. Like uh, Champion of Stray Souls, that boy comes back from the dead. Yeah, underworld sentinel could bring back a second underworld sentinel, but not himself. Yeah. That's yes, true. But it's more, yeah, it's, but it's more like, hey, when he dies, the breakout occurs and everybody's like, book it. Yep. Mm. I do think that that, like, uh, stoic guardianship is a skeleton quality, honestly. Sure. But I, uh, I, he really just does not want to get fired. Yeah. And I, I mean, which I think that's that's kind of skeletony when he, you think about it. He does not want to be devoted to the skeleton barrel initiative. Oh, oh geez! <laughs> oh, don't put me in the barrel. And they're uh, underworld barrels too, so it's worse because yeah. people are going to be cracking those open for gold. Yeah. Uh, there. Oh yeah. There's also Sentry of the Underworld also as a guardian skeleton from uh, the Theros blocks too. Yeah. That's yeah. A good point. It's it's kind of Erebus's deal. Yep. I think it's pretty good. I think yeah, that this is an yeah. okay skeleton. Yeah. It, it, it's uh, definitely it, not super up there, though. It's not super up there. It, it, it has a story to it, which, like we said earlier, that's a good thing. Having a story to mm-hmm. yourself, that's good. Environmental storytelling. You could put him on a toilet, and you'll just know everything you need to know about him. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, I don't want to exile these creatures. Yeah. But where? 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 Yeah. Um. Well, let's just compare it directly to Champion of Destroy Souls. Let's just start there. I mean, I was going to say, let's compare him to Manor Skeleton. Okay, fair. It's that's in the same realm of existence there. I'd put him just below Manor Skeleton. Not because I love Manor Skeleton, which I do, but I actually think just like, hey, as a comparison to Century of the Underworld, I think this is a good uh, as a Century of the Underworld to a Century of the Underworld. Just below Century of the Underworld. Really? Is it because it's... Century of the Underworld is really cool. Century of the Underworld's art is really good. It's I mean, both really... of these cards have really good art, but sure. like... I, I just think Underworld Sentinel captures the feeling of a Underworld Sentinel that when he fails, things go awry. It's kind of a funny story, that's all. Sure. Century of the Underworld doesn't really have that flavor. He's kind of... I no, he's just a regular skeleton oh. uh, guard because of the vigilance and everything, and yeah. I, I get that. But... Griffin skeleton and like the profile of Century of the Underworld is really good. It's good. I'm not saying it's like a, it's a it's a close thing. I would probably put him over. Would you guys put him below? I'd say below. Uh, I'm actually kind of torn. I think I'm gonna say below, but it is with like a big asterisk of like. Hey, mm. look, look look at it this way. As a man of science, you could just say, mm -hmm. "Hey, it's within the margin of error," where it's kind of like. Eh, you know, yeah, you know what? Say. Sure, it's in the margin of error. Sure, but yeah, also yeah. we're never wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're never wrong. But... It would be in the margin of error if we made errors. Yeah, yes. but hey, statistical error though. You, you have to remember mm -hmm. diffuse uncertainty. Yeah. <laughs> Hustle. Uh, I can't hold anymore. We need to talk about tiny bones. We uh, got to talk about tiny we, bones. We have to talk about tiny bones. <laughs> tiny bones is a Urborg spirit possessed skeleton who's stealing stuff for his Urborg spirit family. And I freaking love this. Yeah, that could He's be running around and his skull is like hopping up and down on the body. He's like, a, he's like a, it's, I, I don't know if he's like a Zelda thing or like a Miyazaki thing. It's like somewhere between the two. Uh, and Tiny Bones is running around and like you can you know that he's around and you can hear it because you just hear the you know the wooden tap over and over again. Yep. Uh, I want to see this guy in like a Rankin Bass special. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh man. So mechanically, he doesn't have a ton of skeleton stuff going it's on around. Not very skeletony mechanically, no. But for my goodness, he skeleton. He is adorable. T Tiny Bones has. That very consistent skeleton quality of having an incredible name, like Grim Roust about gutter bones, lightning uh, elemental, so carrionet. Which honestly, I think oh I'll say, God. lightning elemental is probably the best point of comparison I would make to this, in the sense that this is a flavor skeleton that is more interesting in the other stuff around being a skeleton, while with the plus side of hey, here's he is a skeleton. I think it's better than Bone Dragon on top of that. How dare you? I think Bone Dragon's just a really good, you know, bone dragon. That's like it's a You're right. It's a great bone dragon. You're right, but Bone Dragon is a say, I don't want to take it like that I hate tiny because I freaking love tiny bones. Tiny We're bones talking about the top favorite. ten, of course you love tiny bones. But There's not a single member in the top ten here that I you don't adore. I think Tiny Bones is a better rogue than a skeleton. That's that's true, but I'm not discounting the skeletonness of them just that's because let's, there's one thing here. There's one thing here. Okay, yeah, go on. I want to own a metal album with Bone Dragon on it. Yeah, I want a Tiny Bones. Just like I just want Tiny Bones. I want a little plush of Tiny Bones itself. You know, and it had it would have to come in two plushes because it had to be the body and then head and head. Would you right? want a plush of Lightning Skeleton? Uh, yes. no, I would like basically everything I own to be plastered and lightning skeletal. I, I want a lightning skeletal gunpla. I don't know how that would work. Oh, yeah, you can but... make it work. You can, yeah. See, I, I remember this. I was actually, I was arguing for lightning skeletal over bone dragon personally. Yeah. So yeah, I know. And I, if I'm putting, uh, if I'm putting, if I personally think the tiny bone should be above bone dragon. That means it's above lightning skeletal. I think it should be below bone dragon. <sighs> Bone Dragon's a big dragon skeleton, and that's cool. Yeah, Tiny I, Bones is a tiny dude skeleton, and that's yeah. adorable. Yeah, they're both they're both good in their own right. way, but 
there is a purity to the skeletonness of Bone Dragon, where it also has Bone Dragon flavor also on top of the thing. I, I gotta, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to do it again. I'll have to put it below <laughs> Bone Dragon. See, the other if thing, we're going to be putting it, it below Bone Dragon, I'm putting it below Lightning Skeletal as well. If you read Bone Dragon mm. like a D and D spell, it completely changes the context of that word, that name. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, congratulations, Sorry. Tiny Bones. I adore you, Tiny Bones. I give Tiny Bones like a little biscuit. I want to. I want to just give work. Tiny Bones a big hug. Yeah. I want to feed him curly fries. <laughs> He's a better. Uh, he's a better. That's my rogue. son. He's a better rogue than skeleton, and he's a better son than a rogue. Hey, there's also Bone Rattler. It's a tiny. Bone oh, Rattler's great. I love Bone Rattler. It's adorable. It's a, it's a tiny little skeleton. It's, it's a little skeleton baby, and it makes a bunch of skeletons. It's great. It does create four reassembling skeletons, which is pretty choice. Very, yeah. very worth acknowledging as being a thing, but also not a real card. Yep. All right, let's talk about crabs. Okay. I wasn't expecting to see this many crabs. It's weird. We, they, this is a consistent trend. They're doing way more crabs than I would normally expect there to be. Just in like, just like, hey, wh why is there this increased trend to more and more crabs? I'm into it. Don't get me wrong. Just not necessarily what I expected. Well, you see, in development, there's this concept called carcinization, where uh, in given time, all cards become crabs. I hey, yeah. you know what? I I'd, I'd accept that. I would accept that. Uh, Card sanization. Sorry. Let's start off with actually a fortunate thing we have to kind of correct ourselves on. We missed a crab. Sorry to I say, can't you missed this crab. Yeah, it's uh, Simic Key Rune. Which this is, it's weird that you missed this crab specifically. Look, He's not a combination of things. He's just a crab. <laughs> and also, if you look at that key rune, it looks kind of more it's like an octopus. It doesn't look like a yeah. crab that much. Like you could maybe it have, looks like a nautilus is what you, that looks like. You can imagine a crab crawling out of there, I guess. But yeah, what if it's just a hermit crab that lives inside that? It doesn't look like it though. It doesn't look like what it. What is it though? It could be, but Look, also... Flavors what you make of it, man! Where's yeah. the tentacles coming from? There's distinctly two tentacles on this, and crabs don't have those. I'll just yeah. carve it there. It's just right uh, like a shell. Yeah, I'm... Honestly, I'm... This is this guy's low. Like, this is probably... Like, I'd honestly put this below, like, Growth Chamber Guardian. Uh, no, I He's would put it above Growth Chamber Guardian. What do you have against crabmen? It's an elf with crab arms. What do you Not have even, against... like, for his arms. He just has them on his back. Crabmen. It's, it's more... Oh, it's, more than, it's better than Growth Chamber Guardian. It's more than this key rune has. Look, for, that is, look, I fought for hell for Rakdos key rune and Orzhov key rune. I just want this one above Growth Chamber Guardian. No, that's why I'm, I like nope. Growth Chamber Guardian more. No, nope. it's, it, not, it's not a crab. It's just a guy with crab arms on his back. I'm going to be honest. I'm with Zorak here. That's more crab uh, than uh, what key rune has. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Listen, normally I'm all about like giving uh, it to Zorak when it comes to Simic cards, but no, I'm with him here, dog. I'm sorry. Uh, Simic uh, Kieran's bottom of the list. Boo, 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 boo. Um, Jit, which one do we want to start here? Uh, let's, let's do Crustacean. Which, which, hey, Crustacean? Funny name. Really funny name. Uh, and <laughs> and also, pre pretty good looking crab. It's, it's a great cool that's a, that's a video game ass crab. It's a sure big is. crab. He's got long crab stalks. I'm into it. Uh, it's weird that he's like a basically like a teleporting crab. Or I guess it's more like here. It's more like the he's just, just there. You just don't see him. He just all of a sudden starts moving. You're like, oh, that was a crab. <laughs> which, yeah. Which I, that's into it as someone who has spent a lot of time around crabs. Yeah. It's particularly like yeah. you know land you know land crab. Um, yeah. They're they they're kind of like that. You just basically see all of a sudden see the movie like oh there's a crab there huh yep. huh crustacean. I look at it and I hear the steel drums and the marimbas playing in my head and I'm just entirely for it. Yeah, he's got some big beach energy going on. The crustacean will make you live on isle, yeah. island time if you play it. I, I think this is actually a pretty good crab to be honest. Like it's pretty I, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd probably put it somewhere above wishcoin crab to be honest. 
Like I see, I'm I'm looking at uh, the crabs here, and I'm directly comparing it to purple crystal cl- uh, crab first. Because that's what cool. I did too. Because yeah, the same thing. See, I'm not saying that it doesn't be- go belong it's above. Just, it's the one my brain jumped to. Too. Sure, but because as- they're both cute looking, real looking crabs. Is but the thing purple crystal crab is a tiny crab. little guy, whereas this guy is yeah. Whoa. Big crab is also a very good crab quality. Yeah, that's true. I think he's better than Hummered Warrior, I'm personally saying. And then Witchcraft Crab is a good looking crab with like coins encrusted in them, which is cute, but. Mm-hmm. I'm going to compare it directly to Fortress Crab at this point, and oh. I like the craggy, like, hugeness. And Fortress, if- Fortress Crab is literally an Order of Ecclesia boss. Yeah, yes. it's still, still a thing I can't. I just look at Fortress sure. Crab. Sure! Is all I think I about. will point out, though, that mechanically, Crustacean is a strict upgrade. Yeah. They're both four mana 1-6s, but one is vanilla, and the other has Flash. Yeah. Sure. But he's also I like not. Order of Ecclesia a lot. Order of Ecclesia mm-hmm. is a very good game. <laughs> <laughs> Most scientific method. Um, I, on that front, I'll be the dissenting opinion. I think that it should be above Fortress Crab, but that's up to you. Nah, Fortress Crab's above it. Yeah, like the idea of a giant Fortress Crab. Like it's, they both have a similar flavor in that regard. But yeah, I, I gotta say, yeah. Well. The only thing I'd say is a crustacean is such a good name. It is, but so is Fortress Crab. Yep. Yeah, but crustacean's like a pun. But so yeah. is Fortress Crab. Fortress Crab is, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, let's do Ruin Crab next. Yeah, let's do, do Ruin Crab next. Let's you just take a Ruin Crab out. Yeah, so okay. Ruin Crab versus Hedron Crab. That is kind of the obvious point of comparison here. They're basically the same oh, thing. Ruin Crab is nowhere near as introspective as Hedron Crab. No, it's sure. not. Yeah. Like, visually speaking, like it's it's not a bad looking crab by any means, but like it doesn't have like this sense of like ah yes. Mechanically, I also like Hedron Crab more for being able to target players at the mill as opposed to being just opponents. Because yeah. sometimes I want to mill myself. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, it's the be- best point of comparison. It's just not kind of a... As, not as introspective. It's a worse one of that. Not as yeah, it, it doesn't even have a hedron gripped in its claws, you know? It's not it's thinking proud. about the hedron. It doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. This is a crowd that just doesn't care, you're right. I don't know, like, what, can I really vote for a crowd that doesn't care? And then you have I don't to want this crab in office. Um... <laughs> How about somewhere around like uh hmm. I'm I'm thinking like uh around Jwari, Scuttler, and Cankrix, Iceberg Crank Cankrix and stuff like that, but I'm gonna say below those. Ooh. I, mm. Okay, interesting. I'm going to say directly towards Iceberg Cankrix, I like Iceberg Cankrix more as the snow version of the same card. You know? Hmm. Those are all directly comparable cards, and I like the icy flavor and look of Cankrex. You know, I might actually just put them below, like, Giant Crab. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, we could probably go lower. Mm. But I'm also thinking, like, does it, does this deserve to be lower than Homerid? Because <laughs> I, it, mm. it's, yeah, like, it's still a good crab. It's That's just yeah. a thing, yeah. But I don't know, like, it's like, it's like a, it's like saying, like, boy, I love band. I love band. And then, like, hey, here's this tribute band. And you're like, yeah, you're, you're a tribute to this good band. But also, no. But see, here's the thing. That's why I'm saying directly below Iceberg Cankrix as being the worst of these, you know? Of these specific kinds of mill crab, I don't know. Jump because I still is again, I'm looking. Crab. Scott, I, I'm also crab. looking at right here. I'm looking at giant crab, and I don't like looking at giant crab. Yeah, <laughs> which I think is a uh, a a quality that the ruined crab has over giant crab, for instance. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I think I'm actually exactly where I want it to be at like 21, but that's up to That's where my stance is. Uh, so that's my thing is I think it's a cute little crab. Yeah. I mean, but that's like, there's cute crabs in that I, vicinity. Because I put it up higher than that, but. But like, I don't know, like, 
Mm. See, I, because I'm specifically comparing it to a card that's extremely similar to it. That's sure. and I like the other See, card more. Meanwhile, See, I'm looking at like purple crystal crab as a comparison. That's where I'm at with it. Oh, my, my, like I like like high tide hermit more than it. Sure. Or like, there's like some of the like the that's uh, what the science has to shake this out somewhere. That's what we're figuring out. Yeah, and oath of gate watch like ancient crab I liked more. That is pretty good. So I'm just oh, saying, I, like, I feel like we're coming up to the, uh, the, we're, we're going to cut down the middle here of Zorak's pretty low on it. I'm middling on it and you're relatively high on it. Yeah. I think that means that we put it where I want it. Mm, we'll, no. we'll see where it takes out because I'd, I'd like this more than Wormfang Crab. Yeah, I'd put it, honestly, I'd put it right below Ancient Crab. The more I think about it. I don't like this more than Wormfang Crab. I mean, sure, Wormfang Crab's got the weird nightmare uh, yeah, to I, it, I, I, but I go right above Wormfang Crab with it. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Room Crab. It's higher than it deserves, I think, because I feel like Iceberg Cancrix is definitely better. Well, let me tell you about Simic Key Rune. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Simic Key Rune doesn't deserve to be higher than where it is. I'm sorry. Wow. How dare you? Charx the Raging Isle is freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is a good ass card in general. I love this card. It's, it's Both big, cards are good. It's a big ass crab, but then it gets going and it hey, does. Hey, hey, the way hey, thanks for is. giving the highest toughness creature in the entire game to be a crab. Please, oh, I appreciate I, that. Yeah. It's so good. It's so dumb. It's such a dumb thing, and the, the more water there is out there, the more he could be offensive. Otherwise, he's having to stay back in his little puddle. By a puddle, mm -hmm. I mean the ocean. In Arena, isn't the, the battleground for Zendikar Rising yeah. just on Karak's back? Yep. Yep, yep. it is. Yeah. It's because really he's just that big. He's a big crab. He's yeah. a big crab, and the whole thing is that just basically some bit of, like, you know, a skyclave fell on him, and he just basically got mutated into huge. Yeah, it fell on a it's bunch of crab eggs and crushed all of them except for Carix's, and he just fed off the Hedrons for centuries. Yeah, and he just kept, he got big enough to finally be able to pick it up. Well, it's the Hedron floated up, because they turned the Hedron, or the, the skyclaves back on. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, I need food. <laughs> Time to eat. Oh boy, there's everything out there. Carex is great. Uh, I have a deck where Carex is commander in it, and I love it already. It's a, uh, it it is a really really neat card, yeah. and also being the toughest thing in the game is also an extremely crab quality. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, yeah. like he he's he is a top he is a top ten candidate. Although I'm not quite sure where I, I have to say I still think I like like Hamrid Explorer and Hedron Crab more. Yes, I agree with that. I think I like Salvage Scuttler more as well, but I like this more than Horseshoe Crab. Oh, I really like Horseshoe Crab, so like you say that. Horseshoe but Crab like... I like a lot, but I have I do have to admit, there is the one sticking point with Horseshoe Crab of Not they crab. ain't actually crabs. Look, well, man, you want to get into what's actually crabs, we're going to have problems, because you got King Crab down there and all sorts of... Look, yes. okay, listen, but here's the thing. King crabs are at least, you know, closely related to the regular uh, flavor of true crabs. They're all arthropods. Yeah, but this, the horseshoe crabs horseshoe are specifically crabs. more related to spiders. They're chelicerates, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on. Like, th that's a completely different line of arthropod. Yeah. But what about homerids? Homerids are basically lobsters, and I can respect that. Yeah, I... Oh man, I might put him above. Like I like Salvo Scuttler a lot because he's real cute, and also the Salvo Scuttler, Scuttler is, is really the, cute and also big, although obviously not as big. It's got the good, hu her, you know, uh, hermit crab flavor with what it does with a ghost crab face. Yeah, yeah but, I I think right below Salvo Scuttler is where I kind of settle out with it. Mm. All right, I can I can accept that. Salvage Scuttler is cute, and cuteness is a quality I look for in crabs. I'm sorry. Same here. Yeah, that is absolutely. true. Char Charx is a little bit lacking cute, though. What could say that being it's huge? Cute. Is it's a very cute crab. It's it's a very he's cute still not. He's, he's not a non-cute crab. He's just not as here. cute. Arguably, Charx is the cutest Leviathan in the game. <laughs> no, 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 no way. There's, there's definitely. Uh, what is it called? Yokomoto. 
Ah, it's not really cute. Hmm. I forget how to spell that. Yep. Yoko yep. Mortar. There it is. I think that's cute. Orcas are cute. Yeah, but... Mm. All right, we've got two crabs we have to mention as an honorable mention here. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, uh, not really, but... Uh, it's a lobster now. So, one yeah, so only counts given that we counted the homerids, and then yes. the other one is a homerid. Yeah, so real quick, I also need to throw out there that they actually added, officially called rock lobster as being a, a lobster. lobster. So honorable mention to you, rock lobster, you silver-bordered bastard. You're a lobster. You only count because we can include homerids in here. Just throwing that out there. Yep. And then there's this oh, yeah. jerk, the longest freaking name in the world. They made a legendary. Con, Atlin, she sound boy, yeah. They made a fake legendary homerid. He's a homerid Lord. tribal card. He's right. I made a commander deck out of him. Other homerids, camerids, cephalids, nautilids, and also merfolk you control get plus one plus one. Nautilid. That's not a yep. thing. But also, don't forget Loopy Lobster, mm -hmm. who is a card with four faces. Oh, yeah, that's right. Huh. Yeah, the, the lobsters are also in this ranking, but there's no actual lobster cards. Yep. Yep. Rock Lobster is an actual card, but yep. it's not. It's not, outside of our purview. Yep. So, yeah, honorable mention to those guys. Eh. What you gonna do? Nope. All right. So, swords. Let's go through swords. these swords. Let's start. Let's start pretty basic here. How about? Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, same thing. Bronze sword. Bronze sword. That's a bronze ass sword. Yep. No, it didn't. That's not a bronze sword. It's not cast at all. They forged that. So, just visually, I can tell that that ain't actually a bronze sword. That is a sword that happens to be orange in color. Hey now. You try, are you saying Perforos can't make a sword that looks like that? Perforos probably can. Sure. Listen, if it was actually Perforos, then I get it. But I don't know. I think that because it's just a one mana, it, it's a bad bone splitter kind of means that it's not really Perforos's thing. I don't know. I, no, but it's, his underlings have made it. Yeah. He's faithful. I, I, I'm sorry. They're not very good at their job then. I would. Uh, Perforos can be pissed about that. Yeah. I'd probably put this somewhere in like the short sword range. It's fine. I'm putting like it below short sword myself. Sure. Yeah. I would that put it above in Sold Scimitar, though. All right. Uh, These things happen. Delta and Sold Scimitar dirty. Yeah. And Sold Scimitar looks like garbage. How dare you! Listen, it, it, Dancing Scimitar is right up there, okay? Yeah, we gave the good the best sword in the game. Yep. Yeah, it, we made sure that the, the actually good version of it got the do it ne deserved, but then the bad version of it's garbage. <sighs> yeah. Hey, can we do another kind of bad sword? Uh, can we do Scavenge Blade? Sure, yeah. So, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a sword. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of like, reminds me of like, you know, O ogre's cleaver or whatever kind of like that kind of quality of it's a rough big old sword sword yeah yeah but it's not it's more you know it's a rudimentary sword yeah why just strap all the bones on it because it looks cool make it scarier no it doesn't look cool it looks dumb it looks cool if you're an ogre are you yeah, an ogre? I guess if you're an ogre, I can respect that. Yeah, that is probably among the ogre aesthetics going on of just strapping a whole bunch of bones to it and calling it done. Which I'd probably say that's probably the class of who this sword would belong to. This is more like a handheld bill hook. This is something I'd use for trimming tree branches. I'd be bad at it, but it can do it. I don't know, like with this guy, like it's not stylistically that interesting it's kind of fun they, they, you know i don't know if the the instant attachment thing is kind of like not a negative flavor but like flavor neutral it's just kind of like oh that's a useful mechanic yeah not, so it tosses it to you and you grab it and you take it and like oh man really is this all you got but i mean it was uh zendikar rising if you were playing warriors you played this yeah i oh. think it is below ogre's cleaver I'd probably put it somewhere around like below honed kopesh because I like a, I like a kopesh. Yeah, that's fair. 
I'm also for that. Just All go right. ahead and put it to, uh, somewhere down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, really it's not very specific. I Listen, it's-, I, it's hard for me to get excited and talk about it. It's cooler than Scavenge Blade. You know, that's fair. Put it below uh, Zellion Sword then. Oh, what the. How dare you? It's hard to get excited about. I'm not about... forgetting my opinions on a lot of these swords, so. Is it Zellion mm-hmm. Sword or Blade? Sword. All right. Uh, how about if we talk about. Blazing Sunsteel? Blazing right. Sunsteel. Sure. Then we'll leave the two mythics for last. Makes yeah. sense. Uh, Blazing Sunsteel is kind of a neat sword in the sense that basically it makes you like set people on fire when they get hit. That's pretty neat. It's got a sun That's in it. Cool. It's a neat it's looking good. sword. Neat looking face. It's all right. Sword. It's got that weird little orb that, uh, what do you call it? As sword from the, the World of Warcraft that everyone was it's obsessed the, about for like 10 years. It's over. got the power of the sun inside of it. Yeah. yeah. I like it's a uh, swoopy, uh, like, recurve design it's handsome yeah. it's got a good silhouette yep it's i a, like it it's good it's a good sword but mm, it's kind of like where, where would we take it? i think it's on the kind of upper half of the list it's a, it's a neat powered powerful mystical sword god there's so many swords there's a lot there of are a lot of swords uh i'd probably put it somewhere around like it's not, it's not like, gr- like wow, sword, but it's interesting. There's something. I I'm so- putting it below civic saber. That's kind Ooh. of where, honestly, I was honestly thinking in that vicinity. Like I put it above Banshee's blade. Really? Mm. Yeah. Have yeah. you looked at Banshee's blade recently? Yeah, it's 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 the sword that's just constantly screaming. It's yeah, true. but civic saber is a nice, handsome, regular saber. Yeah, and I think Blazing Sunsteel is pretty cool looking. It's pretty cool looking. It's on fire. That's why I'm putting it above Hero's Blade. Hero's Blade is another standard looking sword that uh, does a, a decent job, but I do think that Blazing, whatever this card is called, Blazing Sunsteel, uh, does look better than it. I think it looks better than Manchie's Blade. Mm. I think it's definitely better than Flowstone Blade. I, yeah. honestly, I think that's honestly where I put it is right above Flowstone Blade. So as the the tiebreaker here of this wide range. Sure. Hey, there we go. Uh, let's keep jumping around in a weird order. Let's do Seraphic Greatsword. All right. Sword. You know, this is a funny note about Seraphic Greatsword. Hmm. Yeah. I, I actually can't tell if this deserves to be called a Greatsword. Because well, it's, it's kind of th- distinctly a one-handed sword with a really long blade. Hey, the blade's made of light. You yeah. don't know how long it is. You don't know how long it is. It's not that heavy. That's true. It's, when it's, light. Light. it's light as a feather. Yeah, but it, I just still think that it doesn't, it's not really much of a greatsword then. Look, it, the blade is so sharp that he accidentally cut his own eyes out, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. That's the point. He um, looked at it and the, and the light reflecting off of it just, yep. you know, cut it open. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good mystical sword. As far as mystical swords go here, the sword is like, hey, if you're holy enough, an angel will pop out and say, sup. Yeah. This thing is ridiculously good in general, too, because, oh, man. That's you, a, do, you do or know that I'd love a sword that you swing and a guy pops out of it. Yep. It's true. I have to admit that that is a really good quality for a sword and this sending a full angel out. That's yep. good. Yeah, strong. It's not- it's not quite, I would say, like, say, attacking a guy and a wolf coming out, but... Yeah. Oh, not even close. Yeah, wolf but, coming out is primo, especially because that guy gets so fucked up yeah. over looking at a wolf coming out of a sword, you know? Yeah. Honestly, I would probably put this in, like, the... Stoneforge blade range. Like, this is neat, but... It, I don't think it's, like... Steel of the Godhead is looks cool. This thing doesn't look cool. I don't like. I think this thing looks. Oh, I think it looks kind of cool. The handle. Uh, cool. I think it looks okay. I don't think it looks. It's kind of got like uh, it, any further, and this gets close to being a keyblade though, without a tilt to set up. I think it merely looks all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's the li- the blade of light is neat. I would say. Yeah. Again, I, Banshee's blade. I think this is just showing that we, me, me and you guys have a vastly different opinion of cool sword. See, 
I'm saying below Banshee, below Banshee's blade. Yeah, I think this is cooler than Banshee's blade. I don't where get you, you at all. Where would you put this thing? Uh, I would put it above Sigil Tour to Valoran. Mm, that's not wildly d- disconnected. Like you guys acted like that's a big deal. Like that's six places worth out of like, uh, no, sixty. Man. That's not that wide. Uh, Sigil Sword of Valoran is. I like yeah. all the little dangly bits coming off of the Sigil Sword of ba- Valoran. It's not. Oh, you like all that fan that flavor. You don't like the hilt of this one. Uh, listen. I know the Sigil Sword of Valoran. See, here's the thing. I like them going deep in one direction or the other, and this is kind of in the middle of that. <sighs> Yeah, I and Citadel I, Sword of Valoran does have a ridiculous uh, sort of look going on to it, but I like it. It's good. I think I might put this actually above Sigil Sword of Valoran as well. Uh, all right, if you want to. Yeah. I think there's something really cool about like the weightless blade of light. It's uh, there's something about that that's and, real fun. And an angel shootout. That's you and also everyone who watched Stars Wars. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I bet. Yo, shut your fucking mouth. Let's talk about Ember Cleave, the sword that is most broken, like, freaking magic. Ember Cleave is one of the strongest equipment that they, equi- that they printed in, like, a decade. Also, it's just, like, lightning, like, Excalibur. Well, it's... It is... the yes, but you... you wrong way. Let's not get into that. That whole the difference. Oh, okay, of... that. It's the sword in the stone. You pull it out of the stone. Yeah, Excalibur. Hey, sometimes in some sort of stories, that sword is also called Excalibur, despite that... being a separate sword. That's why I'm saying let's not get into that because it's contradictory. How dare you? Because <laughs> I mean, it's true. Both swords are sometimes called Excalibur. It happens. How right? dare you? Arthurian legend is a bunch of bullshit that people really disagree at everything How about. How dare you? Yeah, this like, but this thing freaking rules. You basically have enough people attacking, and it's like, yep, you're you're the righteous one. Here's his sword. Cut yeah, it half. will kill with, you. The thing with that though is, every time I'm just playing magic on arena, yep. I get attacked by a dinosaur. Then the dinosaur pulls out a sword and kills me. Yep. Yes, that's, you're right. that's dope. That is cool, but also, yes, I get you. There's. But also, there's an element of overuse to this card because it is so extremely powerful. It's basically, it's almost in a way like, how often do you see them pull out an Ember Cleave and not win? It's a thing. V- very rare. Ember Cleave is a game ending, yeah. like game winning card. Kind when of, you play it's, it. it's kind of like an overrun, really, when you get down to it. Yeah. Mm. Single creature overrun, just double strike and trample plus one plus one. It is. There's very few things that can beat that in combat, especially because it can, can gets down to cheap just just like a red red. Well, well regardless, like I'm trying to remember if it's Ember Cleave that talks shit or the rock that they stick Ember Cleave into that talks shit. I think it's the rock. Never mind. We're good. Take a lore shit. I I really also hey listen when it comes to aesthetic, this thing I think looks fucking dope. It's hard to notice everything. It actually does have a very intricate, very handsome design to play. It is the thing. You yeah. know, it's it looks good. Um, it's made by a dwarf, so yeah, hey, so of course, I like I dwarves. Uh, yeah. Dwarf swords are good. Yeah. Where I'm, just, I'm saying this thing is up there, but I understand also that it is. It is basically busted. Is the thing? It's one of, it's one of those ones where I'm just so tired of seeing this card. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. See, I, I think I would put it around below Wall of Swords above Tatsumasa at 10. Uh, sorry, at 11. Honestly, uh, that's kind of honestly where I was thinking it as well. Like, it's a good one of these, but it's not the best one of these. And I, I, have, to, I have to say, I think actually being sick of seeing this card is pretty valid. Honestly, it's things everywhere. It is, it is pretty ridiculous. So are y'all like in agreement at Tatsuma, like being better than Tatsumasa? Yes. I mean, I'm going to recuse myself from this one because I'm just so sick of this freaking card. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the first time that's happened when we do this. I, I don't want to think about this card anymore. It's fine. I'll be it, happy. It has, it has a game winning factor aspect to it that is kind of just how rude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, if honorable, you got this unlimited, you won that unlimited draft, by the way. And trample. Yep. Yeah. Ugh. And also power boost, and then even when you kill them, it's not that expensive to re-equip. 
Yeah. So just keep doing at it. So, oh, it's hey, we pushed equipment. They don't do that very often. Hey, we actually have a sword honorable mention for once, guys. It's pure yeah. still angel, which is a cool S as a sword. Also, it's an angel. Also, not a real card. It's a good good uh, on you, pure still angel. You're you're not a card, but hey, you're okay. Right? What, how, what's the quality of the sword, huh? How do you think about this cool S sword? With wings it looks sharp oh it's fucking great it's top it's tops 100 percent. there was a weird amount of devils actually put out in the last intervening time because if you like think about it we had only like 29 devils up to like mid 2019 and then all of a sudden we get six more that's pretty that's pretty nice huh huh people big love devil devils. boost yeah uh, let's start off with the first one from game night two, fiendish duo. This uh, is weird for being a mythic devil. I think it, it was the foil in one of the decks from game night 2019. Yeah, that's why it's mythic. I fair enough. I, I do like the implication here kind of where it's like, it's a doubling effect because there's two devils and it's clearly because they took one devil and just cut it back in half and they just grew back that way. <laughs> I mean, as somebody with a history of tearing devils in halves, that's, <laughs> yeah. You, they that do is that. how devils do, yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty, so here's the thing, though, is that yeah. this is a lot of power and toughness and effect in general for a pair of tiny devils. They're 2.5, 2.5s, each of them. I guess, yeah. But even still, that's actually pretty hefty for these two, right? Like Two of them. There is two of them. I mean, like Sin Prodder is like a three, two. That's not. Man, a doubles a three, three. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's not like I, I've right, kind of since three, changed three. my position a little bit of I think the devils that are big are fine. Yeah. I've, I'm pretty sure I remember being anti-large devil before. You're anti-large devil. And also you had problems with pants or without pants. I forget which way. Uh, I think it was I. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember. Okay. Well, it's one right of now. those devils. Are you for like devils was... with pants? Or are you against devils with pants? I, I think I'm against devils with pants. I think okay. that's what it was. All right. If that's what your heart says, that makes sense. Cause I don't, I'm pretty, I'm still sure flair of the hate bound is not wearing any pants. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I hope that that's what my stance was last time. Uh, well, speaking of which I think there's just, Duo, I think it's pretty good. It's got a neatish, devilish effect. It's not quite as like mayhemy, but it's a neat, you know, damage doubling. It's a pretty good devil effect, I think. The double, I think that's oh, fine. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. I hmm. like them. They do the thing that I like to do with devils. Yeah, which is tear them in half. Though, so here's the thing, though, oh, yeah. when we're talking about duos of devils, there is one that you can directly compare it to yeah. of heckling fiends and yep. I like heckling fiends way more. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I'd probably put this guy more above like, <sighs> I mean, don't forget wildfire devils is also a pair of devils. Yeah. I maybe put this just above pitch burn devils, which is also a pair of devils. Uh, like, uh it's definitely above pitch burn devils I yeah think. it's, so it's, it's I, I think higher it goes than higher than that higher oh, really because like yeah like, tor like like in that zone torch fiend mwah, just great look at, look at their little smiles look at their sure but i think you're underselling smiles. these guys in the middle is the thing like yeah it's good a lot of yeah. these devils are good you know think... actually as, as you bring it up i'm th thinking about torch fiend gang of devils of rakdos cackler yeah, I think I do think they're above Pitchburn Devils, but I think that might actually be where they are above Pitchburn Devils. Cackler's so good. Yeah, but these guys are good. The, there's nothing you're, you're ice oh. chocolate ice cream. Good is good. Vanilla ice cream is good. Yeah. If I, put, if I put my vanilla ice cream on top of chocolate ice cream, that is not an insult to the chocolate ice cream. What it's worth. I don't think chocolate ice cream is good. I think chocolate ice cream is kind of garbage. Well, there you go. Sounds like the argument has been made. All right. For so ice cream. Yeah. But I'm just because I'm still saying about Pittsburgh Devils, but like leaving them there. Well, where, where I would like you them put more them? Than Torch Fiend. Really? Yeah. I love Torch Fiend. I do love Torch Fiend. I love these guys. But you Look at them. Look at them. I got hatchets. 
It's like they took a battle axe and cut it in half. But where would you put it? Would you just put it just above Torch Fiend? Yeah. Are you, are you guys going to say, like, you're not going to say things. this thing is better than Squealin' Oh, Devil. no, Squealin' Devil's great. Yeah. That guy's great. Yeah, I mean, we're in the roughly the same range. We're talking like a three-level difference here. Yeah, a three-level difference for these two devils. Yeah, well, I think it's worse than to Cackle. I think it's better than Torch Fiend. I also well, think it's worse than Cackler. You bastards. Can't it's still can't a good devil. It. The oh. overall hit rate of devils is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's you good. know, like, like the, our main, our worst devil is there because he's more of a horror than a devil. But on the other hand, still pretty good devil. Uh, uh. No, that's cool. Yep. Um, Look, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Oh man, I think we're, we're all devil's ad- advocates today. Oh, absolutely. Man, which of these all of these next ones do you want to do? There's so many choices. Chain Brute! Yeah, let's do the big boy. Chain Brute. Man. Weird devil? Isn't that just, it's a big old boy? Hulking devil's the biggest, you know, point of comparison? But, man, he, he's got some other stuff going on here. He's, he, you have to sack him to stuff to him to, like, set him free? Yeah. It, uh, you they need to free have him, and he just kind of squeezes the life out of them. That's great. I, I love the other devils being there just around him to be just squished. Look, if you're going to sacrifice the thing to free the devil, you know, the devils that when they die, they do. Yeah, just yeah. probably a good choice. I like him more than Hulking Devil, though Hulking Devil's flavor text is still pretty good. But. I don't know how much I like him more than that. I don't know. It's pretty good. But Hulking Devil I like better. You do? Yeah. Kind of like Hulking Devil's sort of face and situational a bit better as well. Is I like the way the malevolence comes across on Hulking Devil. <laughs> the, mm-hmm. the one where Hulking Devil, he still cackles, but he cackles at a different like pace than everybody <laughs> else. It's like a different yeah. te- tempo of cackle. Ch- Chain Devil is pretty it's big and it, dangerous and all of that but not in a chain chain brute is like not enjoying its time it's not cackling at all that's a good i point. wouldn't be i wouldn't be cackling if i was chained up either yeah what if he is cackling though what if he's enjoying this? what if he's cackling like in the art there what if he's cackling He's re- that, that is a pain oh, uh, sort of cackle. Okay, well, think about this. All devils are into sadism, right? What if this guy mm-hmm. is oh, into them, yeah. th- this one's into sadomasochism? Sure, <laughs> two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Also bondage. I'm not ask him about his- <laughs> also bondage. Clearly, I'm. I'm not going to ask him about his uh, predilections. <laughs> Look, all we need to know here is how he feels about do- dominance relationships. So at that well, point, he's, he's got devil, the whole spectrum. So he's a devil, so you know where he is. Uh, there's, there's, someone's probably all to this guard to have a ball gag, gag in its mouth. That's right? really weird way to take that. <laughs> all right, well, where did you put him? I told you. But just, just below Hulking Devil? No more? Yes. All right. Let's do Havoc Jester, how about? Okay. So Havoc Jester is interesting to me in that its easiest point of comparison on multiple levels is Mayhem Devil. Okay. They're both Rakdos party devils, both going around on kind of burning wheels. Yep, ha- he's Havoc, yeah. He's a 5-5. And, five five. and they both do similar effects. Uh, obviously, Havoc Jester is bigger. His effect is worse, actually, I'd say. His look is different. It's not, not exactly the same, but they are of it's a, a family. It's, yeah, it's a Rock Disc Cackler wearing a mask. Yeah. It's like the mask on Bedevil. Yeah, so it's kind of like, they're kind of like the most like obvious comparison between them. Like They even both have like cloth masks on. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, though. I like I like Mayhem Devil way more. I I would have kind of agree actually because like mean, yeah, it's the it's it's honestly with Mayhem Devil, it's specifically 
the fact that he's got a unicycle, it's not just jumping on like a burning wheel thing. It's specifically it's a, a spiky unicycle. unicycle. Yeah. Also, the thing that he's th- that one's throwing around are just full on just nasty, gross fireballs or something, real smoky ones. Have yeah. a jester over here is just throwing some caltrops. Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty havocky. But he has a five yeah. five because of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. It is weird. <laughs> Why are the caltrops so much better? I don't know. It happens. I mean, it's not better because the effect's not strictly better. Yeah, you know, he's cheaper. I guess. Yeah. I wonder if Havoc Jester is actually the larger of the two and Mayhem Devil is actually a little tiny guy. Maybe. Does this feel like a demon to anybody else, like design no. wise? No, no. Havoc really. Jester? Not like, really. yeah. Demons dealing damage when you sacrifice the thing? I don't know. De- devils do that. Oh, it's... you mean bo- the th- most no. of the time when de- it's when devils die themselves? Yeah. So I, I, but I, I think it's still appropriate for. I mean, it's, sure. around, it's the havoc. It's specifically with mayhem devil. It's also it's not even just you sacrificing. It's anybody sacrificing. So yeah. it's him just being <laughs> you sacrificed a thing fireball. You know, it's it's that kind of thing. It's it's a. Yeah. I mean, no, I get that. It's same same thing with havoc gesture. I'd say, except it's more it's less versatile but in, in any case yeah. I, I i i think they're both neat but yes i would i would agree mayhem devil i think is better um yeah i agree i wouldn't even put it that high no god no yeah Havoc jester is it's okay it's not the worst or anything but i don't think it's particularly great i like it less than footlight fiend Ooh, I mean, I like felt like fiend a lot, so that's not a I yeah terrible I, thing. I'm gonna say that's why I have yeah. it. Hmm, because I do like that he's capering, and you know I love capering devils. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I cannot. I, I can accept that. Yeah, I think that's actually probably a good place. I'd probably be fine with that. I, I do like I, it more than Riot Devils, and I could probably go up from there. So yeah, worse than Footlight Fiend. Yeah, I like it better than Vengeful Devils. So. Yeah, Vengeful Devil looks too much like just a weird dude. Without being like a good kind of devilly weird dude. Yeah. That's just a guy. Yeah. I really like Hobble Fiend conceptually. <laughs> just a tiny devil who bites your feet. Just sit in your he's sleep. Gonna, he's going to bite, bite your toes. <laughs> he's going to bite your toe off in your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> going to get you to hobble. As a tiny little asshole. What is this asshole doing in here? Ugh. This is a good, this is a good devil for Sarman. Like, like yeah. This, I like how dumb this thing is. And he gets it's, bigger the more of your toes he eats. Oh uh, yeah, because he's full of toes. <laughs> this is kind of like Footlight Fiend, but I like it. it. It does what I want it to, Footlight Fiend to do, basically. And is way more devilish. Yeah. Sure, I mean, they're Foot, kind Footlight of Fiend axes. feels like an imp. Flight Fiend feels like an imp. Hobble Brute, mm. Hobble Fiend sound, feels like a devil, is the thing. Right, it's that, like that, I get that. I don't, I don't know if Flight Fiend feels like an imp, but... Yeah. I, I would put this guy probably somewhere in, like, the... Gibbering Fiend and Flare of the Hatebound and Forge the, Devil range? Yeah, kind of like in the Cackle through Forge Devil range. Like, some something yeah. in there. Like, I... I not quite where exactly where yet, but something that vicinity. I think there's something really interesting about this guy in terms of like the flavor. I, I don't like yeah. him quite better than like some of the, the really annoying shit. But hmm. Hmm. he's a toe biter. And that's yeah. great. Yeah, it's yeah. really it's really dumb, is the thing. Man. I'd probably put him above Torch Fiend. How about that? Like below Squealing I Devil. Put, I put him above Squealing Devil. Ooh. I think I would also put him above. I, I think I'd put him above Forge Devil. Actually, I'm gonna think about Forge Devil for a sec. I do like Forge Devil a lot. Like, here's the thing. This is actually me trying, like, thinking hard about. No, it. yeah. Because lo- Forge Devil's real good. I really. Forge, like Forge Devil's Devil. got that good. Just kind of. like... Forge Devil looks like he's about to go into a really weird dance. I, I, yeah, which I want that in my devils. I think the thing about yeah. Forge Devil that I still love about it the most is the fact that if you play it into an empty board, it merely dies. <laughs> which, yeah, that rules. <laughs> and I respect that a lot. I respect yeah, that a no, lot. Yeah, I like it between Forge and Squealing. 
Yeah, that's fair. Like, I, I, I think I'd put it above Forge, but it is hard, and I'm fine with it being below. It's the fact he looks like he's about to dance. Mm-hmm. It, it's not a regular dance, either. It's a weird one. It's one of those a ones weird, be... devilish dance. Uh, I, yeah. I almost, by the way, I almost wrote Hobble Friend there, which is a completely different thing. Yeah, he is not a friend. Uh, spiteful prankster. I don't know. Like, I like the flavor text on this guy. I like some of the stuff going on with this, but I, I don't know. There's something about someone this took a guy. baron from hell from Dune, a uh, doom. And like, he just like stopped working out at some point. <laughs> y- yeah. Kind of, well, this yeah. year's been hard, man. Maybe yeah, it- no, I get it. I get it. I do like, I do find it funny that those pigeons are just hanging out there like, yeah, yeah, he burned this other dove, whatever. He does that. Yeah. yeah. We're going to still hang out pigeons are his friends, which are, is also not very devilish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I just don't, I just don't love it. I just don't love I, it. I feel like Spiteful Prankster, mm. like, visually goes, oh, what was it? Which is the one that I just talked, Vengeful Devil, like, visually, yep. sort of the same, yep. same problem. Uh, yep. But I like Vengeful Devil more visually yeah. because he at least has got this really exaggerated scowl. Go- He's got a DC Comics ass scowl going on, which at least yeah. is something that I think goes a little bit better than the right. regular yeah. Doom 3 ass looking guy Spiteful Prankster is. Yeah, It's interesting that he is also kind of just a Havoc jester, but for, you know, Death Triggers kind of in a way, but yeah, mm-hmm. I mean so- that. Like mechanically, it's not terrible. I just don't. It's yeah. I yeah. I'd probably put it. I don't it, know. I'm kind of into him. I might. I'd probably just put him above like Tibbles it's, Rager. It's the petty like malevolence that I'm sure. into with devils. Actually, I'd probably put him above Riot Devils. Uh, yeah, I'm. I think I like he's better than Tibbles Devil. I, I like I, he's definitely vegetable. better than Tibbles Rager. I'll say that, and yeah. probably better than Riot Devils. No, I definitely like him better than Vengeful Devil. Is that but where you put him? I would put him right above Vengeful Devil. No, I, could, I, could, I think I'd, I'd put him right below Vengeful Devil. Hmm. It's like I said, it's the petty malevolence. Yeah, I'll I'll put him up above Vengeful Devil. It's close. It's close. It's definitely close. But okay. Uh, our last devil for this time around, our first oh. legendary devil, ignoring Tibble. It's Zerzoth, Chaos Rider. I think we should stop ignoring Tibble. I think he's hanging out with a bad crowd. I think we should keep on ignoring Tibble, because every time we try to rehabilitate Tibble, bad things happen. Oh, I don't think we should rehabilitate Tibble. I think we should kick Tibble's ass. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Actually, I'm, I'm on board now. Yeah, I do appreciate that Zerzoth's whole like storyline thing is specifically that he's just in charge of this group of devils just because he's best at pointing them into the dumbest like death attacks. You know, like they're basically they're doing stuff. Yeah. He's barely ca- keeping on top of the chaos, literally in this case. You know, just by this like managing to keep everything entertaining enough for them, and yeah. it. He does some interesting stuff mechanically where it's just like, hey, he does everybody do like, you know, weird like card stuff and also he generates devils. That's neat. Yeah, I think he's neat. Yeah. He does have discard a card at random on his text line, which is very devilish and also incredibly frustrating. I will point out that he does seem to be wearing some sort of cod piece. That's, you don't know that that could be part of the goat that he's riding. Yeah, I mean, it is made. Of, I'll point out though, the said cod piece seems to be made out of teeth. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's for a plus or a negative. Well, I think that's, that's a plus. Tooth devil. Yeah, yeah, that's a plus. Uh, he's he seems okay. Here's my problem: Zerzoth Chaos Rider could extremely be type line orc. I think. Oh come like, on! Like I know that he's red. Not and any could, and everything, but. but... I mean, just the, the picture of what he is doing right now. Of, yeah. Uh, I mean, it just feels like a general. You know, I mean, I'll point He's out a general our in hell leading a swarm of devils. I I will point out our number two here. Yeah, Tell Rider is do, fucking riding, like, doing it glorious though. So is this guy. I don't. He. It doesn't. It's not the same. It's not the same. 
He's riding a, a, an, an infernal ram. Hellrider looks like he's j about to jump off and, like, do some stupid shit at any time. Hellrider is screaming the entire way, but, like, because he's having fun. I, Zerzoth is screaming the entire way because he has to yell orders. I, I, no, I, he's I, having I, fun, though. Also, he's probably capering on that goat. The goat is capering with him. Yeah, I, I, I will agree with the point that he does look like he's sitting a little too comfortable on that goat. Like, he's, been, yeah. he's got a good, nice groove on there. Hellrider is standing on his weird, like, steed when yeah. you get down to it. His weird flaming bat dog. Yeah, yeah there's... I, yeah, I, I kind of get where you're coming from, actually, the more I think I, about it. I'm not it. saying Zerzoth's bad, okay? Like, I'll... I'll no, yeah. Zerzoth's pretty great. But I, I, I don't think he's even this, in the same realm as, like, the top five. No, is what I, I'm saying. I'd agree with that. He's more, like, upper middle. Yeah, I, I mean... No, no, I like him. I mean, or, you know, low top, low top. Let's say that. I honestly, I'd probably put him somewhere in like the flare, the hate bound range. Ex yeah, that's fine with me. Z Mechanically, he's actually great. Mechanically, he feels very devilish. Uh, so I'll yeah. say that at least. Yeah. Him being a two three is weird, though. That That's a concession to making, making him more okay. valuable as a legendary, as a commander, I think. I don't understand. <laughs> You're scaling things with the devils and their power toughness. It's better if they have more power than toughness. When is it a problem and when is it not a problem? Well, it's more... It's I better point. when they have more power than toughness. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's a little defensive. He's for riding a goat. The goat is the harder part. He, he is the... Is he, I think he is literally the only devil that has more toughness and power. I mean, you're saying that. Oh, and Tybalt, Tybalt's, Tybalt's Rager. That's the only one. And Tybalt's Rager's vote is low on here. That's true. I don't know. That feels. I don't know, man. I there there has to be a degree of as we've been established. There's, there's, a, there's a three four. Yeah, where's Bedlam Reveler on our list, buddy? Hey, hey, Jalen Grifter's a three five. Where is Jalen Grifter <laughs> on our list, buddy? Right, Devil's a two three. Yeah. Uh, also, also, also low. Bro, also yeah, low. All low. low. He's right above Triple Trader. I don't know. I it just say like there's all of these things. All of the devils have some like degree of like suicidalness to them. Yeah. Look, I'm just I, saying. I feel like a devil has to have very little actual regard for its own safety because he's having too much fun going off and doing something really dangerous. Yeah. I, he's I surrounding wanna, himself with devil tokens. I want to say yes. I want the devil to show up and go, "I'm a devil and this is jackass," and then immediately like lights a. A, a and you great. have a problem with the devil riding a flaming goat. He's sitting it's on the goat. It's not the flaming goat that's a problem. It's just he's not do riding it right. <laughs> By I, that, I mean he's riding it right, and that's a problem. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I think I'm with him. This is a, he's sitting a little too pretty on that goat. He, he's still fine, all right? I'm still saying he's probably like know. a top 15. Easy. I, probably, yeah, right below Flare of the Hate Bound, probably. He's too regal. I don't know, man. I like it more than a gibbering fiend. Uh, they're in that vicinity. Like, sure. Do you like, a, do you like it more than like a charm breaker devil? No, I like charm breaker devils a lot. Gibbering like, fiend is running around, ca gr getting trophies of people's ears and fingers and stuff. Yeah, there is no way he's better than gibbering fiend. There is no way Zerzoth is better than gibbering fiend. Oh, no, he is. There's no world is. where that's the case. What about hell? I, I mean, like, when we're talking about hierarchy, sure, yeah, he's definitely higher than Jivering Fiend in hell. There we go. We're not... I'm not in hell right now, though. Aren't you? I, I Have you looked around right you lately? <laughs> Look I'm at fine society, with above, man! I'm fine with above Flare of the Hatebound, but I'm not okay with above Jibbering Fiend. Ah, that's yeah. why I got him. It's right above Jibbering Fiend. Well, I'm going to put him above Flare of the Hatebound. Sure. That's fine. Strong devil opinions over here. I do strong. have strong devil opinions. <laughs> strong devil opinions. Parentheses. We're talking about one placement in the middle of like, like 34 yep. devils. It's crazy. Fun time. Judge me. Yep, nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, uh, let's 
Let's move on to chimeras. Okay. So we have seven new chimeras. That's a crazy number of new chimeras. I mean, we went to Theros. Yeah, Theros. And, and then Chimer- uh, Commander Legends actually had a couple of chimeras. But still, we were at 14 previously. We have, like, went up, like, we have... Times 1.5. Man, let's man, go. that's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, what do we want to start with this? Oh, let's do... Uh, Daybreak Chimera! All right. Daybreak Chimera is kind of boring. I don't get why being... How dare crazy. you! Being particularly devoted to Heliod makes this Chimera easier to summon. So, I mean, here's the thing about Daybreak Chimera is that it is maybe the most Chimera-ass Chimera in the game, like visually. Mm. It's it's a classic. It's It's got lion, bird, and, uh, well, vaguely looks like a mix between... No, wait, where's the, is that horn coming out of it? Is that a unicorn? Yeah, what it's is kind of, it? You tell me. I it's a chimera. It's somewhere you between a goat and a. It, it's somewhere between a horse and a goat. And it's thing. got alligator hands. Yeah, that, that's dope. I like that a lot. With that in mind, it's also not a particularly creative chimera for that very same reason. It's got a pangolin tail. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like if like another particularly generic chimera, visually speaking would be something like coastline chimera and like coastline chimera is mechanically just like great is the thing as a chimera effect like ah uh, yes yeah, so that that's that's the immediate point of comparison i would make sure yeah F- having to d- be able to deal with multiple things at the same time of just you know two heads doing two different things i yep. get it yeah yeah so it's just it's just i was i was saying it just we, devotion i always think about religion and it's like, this is a very devoted camera. Can I be dead honest with you? Yeah. This is better than the robot cameras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's 100%. Basically, 1,000%. That's it. It's just, that's it. Oh, yeah. hold on a second. No. That's, that's not completely. No. Listen, Prussian Chimera only has an owl head. Yeah. And? This has I, got three heads. Don't have to have multiple heads. I do. No, like they owl. don't. But I'm. I do think it's a good quality for a chimera to have. You don't know. Maybe that Prussian chimera has another head, like face on its belly. No, we we don't know. But I Damn don't know. Right. I think I like Prussian chimera more. And my entire reasoning is I like owls. I also like owls. I have to admit that's not wrong. Yep. That's I'm fine with it being low, but I I feel like we're doing it maybe a little bit dirty. Nope. That's fine. It's, it's a cool camera, but also it just has flying and is cheaper for devotion to white. Yeah. Ta- speaking of chimeras with one head, maybe. Boy, can we talk about loathsome chimera? I freaking love this thing. Ah, uh, it's ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing is nasty. That's underworld chimera. It's just full of teeth. So it much teeth. teeth. Ah, yeah. I. I love how gr- horrible this thing looks. Yep, it is dead as hell. Uh, it's great. That's big nasty for sure. It's really yeah. gross in a way that I really appreciate. Now, it's landlocked, which is that, not a thing. Is that what you call being trapped in the underworld? It's a really <laughs> weird thing. I mean, it doesn't fly, but it's not inaccurate, though. Being landlocked is being trapped in the underworld. Yeah, I mean, you down there locked by land on all sides. In fact, you're more landlocked than most landlocked things, which is not. I don't think chimeras have to fly. It's not. It's it's uh, they often do. But yeah, you're right. They don't have to fly. You know, look at perplexing chimera, certainly. Yeah. Um, Which that's a great chimera. Uh, But I mean. It, it, it's just something, an observation. Um, I don't Yeah, it, like, he's gross. I very much appreciate. He come, you, you can escape out of hell, and he's even stronger when he escapes, basically. Sure. He looks horrible. He's not as weird mechanically as I'd like a chimera yeah. to be, but that's fine. It's not... It's just a chimera that comes back into play slightly stronger. Yeah. It's more it, or less it. I, yeah, like, I still feel like coastline chimera, like, it, visually it's great, but coastline chimera has, like, a good 
vanilla ass chimera effect. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm. Yeah, I agree with that, and I, and I'm looking. I, I do think I like him more than Prussian Chimera. Is the thing. Prussian Chimera does have that. Yeah, weirdly enough, the incident sorcery stuff is actually a Chimera thing mechanically in the game. Yep. Uh, but Lonesome Chimera is more. I just like how gross he is. I'll be real. Yeah, uh, it's I mostly because I like how gross he is. I like Prussian more. It's me. Nah, I, I gotta put him above Prussian. I'm sorry. Sure. I like Prussian how... looks like if someone decided that they wanted to make an entire line of animals uh, in the vein of owl bears for their own homebrew D&D campaign. Get your owl bears. Get your owl uh, jaguars over there. Get your owl lions. How dare you. <laughs> uh, let's do... Shimmerwing Chimera. All right. I was going to say, so Shimmerwing Chimera... <sighs> It's part eel. It is part eel. And part crab. Claws. He's good in that regard, though. His immediate point of comparison is Riptide Chimera. And Riptide Chimera is freaking amazing. Yeah. Riptide Chimera is also pretty cool. Yeah. Riptide Chimera is definitely the better of these two. And we don't need to uh, like worry about that. I mean, yeah. yeah. But, but sure. One Chimera is definitely pretty good. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Though, like, how close is he? Like, you know, he's in the, there's this reptile through coastline access. I mean, I like storm chaser camera a lot. So yeah. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm with you there too. I think better than coastline, but yep. I, I'll put it below. Storm That's chaser. right. Yep. Right there. Yeah. Storm yeah. chaser has got just this excellent silhouette going on yep. for it because including a, uh, including both a Panther and also an ox in there made the like and sort of shoulder situation really yeah. weird. And I like, and it. it's got that arc of electricity between the horns and that's silly. And I love it. Yep. Let's do tree shaker chimera. All right. Tree shaker chimera is a big old boy, big boy. I like how just distinguished he is. Yeah. This is a, this is like classy chimera. It's kind of weird in a way. It kind of feels like a lion, some sort of like Ibex and a wolf accidentally just walked into each other. And then this just and happened. Like, what, yeah, if it's just an Ibex a wolf, what if it's an Ibex, a wolf and a manticore? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I suppose. And you just, that chilled them out a lot, I guess. Yeah. Uh, a, a true chimera is it, okay. Yeah. I like true shaker chimera a lot visually. Yep. I think Tree Shaker Chimera looks regal and impressive and looks great. Yep. I'm going to be honest, I don't get Chimera vibes off of it. Despite being made of three different animals, like, mushed together like this, I get entirely different sort of uh, mythological creature vibes from it. Something it, respectable in a way that a Chimera it's doesn't. definitely a Chimera, though. Yeah. Like, I know. I, but it's like the textbook I, definition of a Chimera. I, I know. I, I know. I'm saying that's why it's weird that I don't feel the same vibes off of it. Oh, I, I love it. I mean, I, I love the fact that when he dies, you get, like, one piece of fact off each, each head thing. says part of a word, like the Budweiser frogs. <laughs> Tree Shaker kind of feels like that a I green think of the same thing. You fucking yeah. animal! Oh god. Yep. yep, I know your brain. Damn it. Yep. Like, it, I, I it get gives, what you mean. There's like a degree it gives me of like, the same vibes as like a green sphinx. Not yeah. like not like an MTG sphinx. I mean, like you know, a mythological sphinx. Yeah, I, no, I agree. Yeah. There's, it's, there's, there's uh, a, it's the brow and the lion head. Well, yeah. I also, it's also lacking in like a like degree of like the chaotic energy. Like this is like this is a respectable chimera, which is weird it's, in a way. It's definitely still good. I I don't dislike it at all. In fact, yeah. I think this might actually. In, in fact, I, I maybe I should go the other direction. This is a fine way uh, like direction for chimeras to go. Yeah, you know, great. Yeah, look at the uh, eyes on the ibex head. Look at them. The, one of the, it's winking. One, one, only one of the eyes is open. And the other one is like looking directly at the person in front here. Well, I mean, it's an ibex. They're pointing in different directions. Yeah. yeah. So I don't. I don't know though. Like mechanically, like Chimera, like it's got the multiple head effect on it. But otherwise, yeah. draw three cards, three animals. I, I think it. I think it fits on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just more like how like high high would you put it though? Like, oh, I, I really like what he looks like though. So but and I, that's. Well, that's kind of how I grade Chimera. Sure, sure, but how high? Like, I don't know. Like, I like Riptide. Uh, I like sharks a lot, my, my dude. If you know me, I like sharks. I like it better than Storm Chaser. 
Ooh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I can... think that's fine, but I, I will also agree. I don't like it more than Riptide. Riptide has this. Oh yeah, Riptide's amazing. Energy. Yeah, Riptide's amazing. I'm not. I'm not going to argue that at all. Riptide Chimera is still like the weirdest like Chimera <laughs> in a way, just like visually. Like, yeah, you went a weird direction with this, and I'm into yeah. it. <laughs> we put together a piranha, a shark, a crab, and also I don't know, like a kelpie back there. I guess. Sure. Why not? Uh, how about we do mischievous Chimera? Yes. Yeah, let's do. Uh, this is a weird. Like, it's still keeping on with like kind of the spell caring about Chimera effect. Yep. Kind of like along it's, the lines of spell yeah. heart Chimera. It's there definitely an spell right spell to magic. Yeah. So yeah. it's a, it makes a lot of sense on that front. This is a goat with wings. Go ahead. It's got some lion tail. Just some lion tail, though. It's not lion body. It's mostly just to go with wings. Just, yeah, and it is. And, is, it, is it a little? It is a little. It's vanilla. a little basic and vanilla. Yeah. I th- the thing is, it's multiple kinds of goat. No. It is. Like, that doesn't. That doesn't track. Man, I don't know. Y'all are hating. No. Haters. I don't hate it. It's in. I like. I actually do like the art a lot. Yeah, it's great. But yeah. I, it's just a little boring visually. Hey, Red, some curiosities are better yeah. left alone. Yeah. By which I mean, not particularly high on the list. <laughs> Disagree. I mean, I would put this. That guy... ability is really chimeric. Yeah. But when also... things happen, do this thing and this other completely unrelated thing. But also, like, I don't know, I wouldn't put him above, like, Coastline Chimera. He's got two heads. He's got I two don't know, effect. man. Two he- I'm doing Co- a direct comparison right now, actually, to Spellheart Chimera, which is similar, but does it better, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to point at the, the main reason that I definitely like Spellheart more. Chicken legs? Chicken legs. I mean, yes. He does also have like a more of like a cow upper body, also. So sure. yeah. Look, I'm not arguing that it's better than Spellheart Chimera because it's not. I, I'm just trying to like mentally place, like, feel out why I think it. Probably it's probably still like it's better than Lozum Chimera, maybe actually, but I don't know, man. Like maybe effect below wise, Lozum Chimera. Effect, uh, yeah. effect wise, ab- ab- I would agree it's probably above Lozum Chimera, but Lozum Chimera, man, that's a Chimera. I, I would argue it's above Coastline. I would not put it above Coastline. It's entirely based off its mechanical ability. I, I think Coastline Chimera also has a good Chimera effect. Two uh, and also has a second. Uh, two heads. They do both have goats, but one of them was also a lion. And also, the oh, I didn't so even no, notice Coastline Chimera had the snake tail too. Yeah. <sighs> Nostro. Gnostro. We're gonna do Gnostro. Gnostro. Voice, voice of the Craigs. Gnostro. Uh, this guy is weird in a like it's I like the fact three heads. Three power, three toughness, three different effects. Also, one goes head's off of breath, one head's breath heals you, but the other heads will tear you apart if you get close to it. <laughs> it lets you, uh, it lets them tear you apart for longer. The, yeah. the wolf will occasionally vomit blood, healing blood. So, so it's the wolf that does the healing breath. Yeah, okay. bizarrely, the horse will just again take a bite out of you like an apple. Well, of course, the horse would do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, okay, this, you take out the, uh, the two of the heads and this is design wise, almost one to one of fucking final fantasy behemoth. Kinda, but in, that's not a bad sure. thing by any means. It's not a bad thing. I'm that's just saying like, tail. that's cool. It, it's got yeah. the exact profile and the tail too, actually. Cause they've, they've had scorpion tails before. It's got the main. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't uh, have the horns though, which is what I associate with those behemoths. Yep. But it does have the profile of the horns going on right now, just because of the way that the mane because on the horse. It has works. an owl and a horse sticking out of its head. Yeah, all right. It's not not the owl. It's mainly just the horse's like mane flowing forward like that gives it the the, the silhouette on the art here. Yeah, this guy's great. I think this it's. I, it's I like weird. the nostril a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. <laughs> like it does so many weird things. It fits with the spell thing for chimeras. Yep. Weird card. <laughs> it's super weird. I really like. 
this I really, really like for Nostro here. The fact that it the head area is huge. Yeah. Like there's a there's three different chunky necks going on on this art. <laughs> You're right. They devoted most of the fucking body like mass to head. I mean, you yeah. kind of have to. Yeah, no, I I think that actually looks really good for a yeah. gross, weird chimera. You know, so, Tree Shaker did a similar effect, but yes, Tree Shaker. Yeah, no, I, I and I do like Tree Shaker's art, but uh, Nostro, yeah. meanwhile, does have the chaotic energy yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah. This is a gross weirdo. Yeah, I the, the kind of question me is like like how, like I don't know if it it does. I don't think it plays ball with all the weird animal stapling like, effects I, in the top three. Yeah, I was gonna but, say I think I I think it. It's right above Horizon Camera for me. It's just oh, really? really? Mm. Ooh. It's, I, mechanically, it's doing so much weird shit. Yeah. The design of the camera itself is amazing. It's three colors. Yeah, I think you're. Yeah, I think you're right. It's yeah, in that, I think it's you're in that right. area. I think you're right. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think it beats the two staplers on the top just because. Those no, are so because those good. are doing such weird shit. They are doing yeah. such good effects of like animal stapling, but yeah, Nostro, voice of the Craigs. Nostro. <laughs> I absolutely adore Majestic Miriarx's Cobra Tail. Just throwing that out there is like when we're talking about like comparing these, it's yep. not just a snake tail, it's a full ass cobra back there. Oh, he's a and, gypsy. Yeah, so. but, yeah, but I'm saying that is what that is partially why I would say it goes right below Miss Majestic Miriarx, but definitely I think Bully so sorry. <laughs> All right. That all being said, now we have to talk about Apex Devastator. <laughs> we want to talk about Cascade! Next. Cascade! Cascade! <laughs> we want to talk about Next? We got Next. <laughs> this is the timmiest card ever conceived. It's so oh, beautiful. It and it's up there. It's the little oh. dumb. He's it's just, it's just huge. He's a Hydra, Chimera, and all. And they're capturing the fact of like it's just like it's the chaotic energy of the Chimera is the fact that he just like each head yells up with other obscene magics and then like something else shows up. Yeah, one of those heads is a turtle. One of those <laughs> heads is a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's like okay you've got the the lion goat um fin eared saber cat sure uh weird bird teeth so yep. yeah weird bird and then also turtle yeah they're turtle all, like, things it, yeah they're, they're all the animals are very strange even that they're not just like straight like one animal they're just like mm -hmm. Oh man, it and just the fact that the considering the concept of a chimera hydra, like you would cut off one of these heads and then two other heads would come out with two different new unrelated animals. I cut off the turtle's head and then out cascade at you. Yeah. It's just so oh man, it's 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 very good. It's not I, I don't think it plays I yeah, I don't know, like it's Better than Majestic Miriarc, and I'm going to actually argue them maybe better than Volatile Chimera. Oh, I don't know. Volatile Chimera has got like the perfect like animal stapling stuff. Like it is the perfect animal staple in a way that you can never recreate out of a single draft format. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but That's the craziest thing. You know, I, I, I think this is number two. I'm I'm willing to go with that. Yeah. So, yeah. but I do think it does beat out Majestic Miriarc. Oh, see, it, I. The only thing I it's would say fact, is it's the fact that it's four heads all screaming a different thing at you. Okay, and you I, don't know what that thing is, but it's going to show up. I guess that's because true, I can it, cut off the turtle's head and then out sprouts like an ibis's head and also a pangolin's head. I, 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 guess, in a, and I guess in a way, like the sense, like the cascade is either them singing like magic at you or like you, they show up and it's like, it, it's a, it's a troll head and it, that's captured flavor wise in a troll showing up. Sure. Like uh, like I that. just like to think that it just screams cascade and a magic happens. Sure. But yeah, I'm just saying it. Yeah, I agree. It majestic miriarch has got a great ability stapling also for capturing that, that chaos energy, but Hey, it I, does. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. But yeah, I, I, this actually might be mostly off the back of, I adore the combination of chimera and Hydra. It's, it's just such a good I, combo. Sure, it's a good. It is a good combo. I'm not. Why does it count as a hydra but not a goat, huh? Because it's a chimera. But it's a hydra. 
Speaking of a creature type all of a sudden getting a ton of stuff out of nowhere, turtles, man. What? Whoa. Like Whoa. Name a uh, person that doesn't like a turtle. Mario. I bet Mario actually likes a turtle. Mario has Mario's friends with turtles. <laughs> but as turtles as a concept, I don't know. You, you know, know, you saying that it just sounds like Mario just being out like, I got, I, got, I got tons of turtle friends. Mario, du- Mario is one of those. I can, I can never be racist against like a turtle. Ma- Mario is one of those classic turtle racists who <laughs> it, it's built into him because of the Mushroom Kingdom, and he doesn't actually even mean it. But if you ask him about what his opinions about the turtle people are, you're not going to enjoy that conversation. <laughs> but he, uh, any individual turtle person that he knows, he's quite fond of. We have a honorable turtle mention even again this time. We've got a not real card in Patient Turtle. Mm hmm. Uh, it's, 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 it's a, it's a good turtle you, effect, I will say. Yeah. yeah. It's bigger if you're slower. That makes sense. It's a good effect. Bad looking turtle, though. Hey! Hey, hold on. You gotta be nice to that turtle. That's a good I, turtle if you just like. Like He's got a crown that. floating over his head, and you know that's cruise control for cool. I mm-hmm. ain't mm-hmm. gotta be shit. Misford River Turtle. This turtle looks great. <laughs> He's friends. Big strawberry energy. It's a big on turtle. turtle. He's his big, his big old friend with it's his. It's a big turtle with a goblin on its back. He's just friends with his goblin. It's great. Yeah. He's friends with goblins. He will only let goblins across. Well, you know, non-humans. He doesn't like humans. You know what? I respect that. I think this world could do with a lot more turtles hating on humanity. I, no, I, I no. for no. I for one welcome turtle judgment. I don't want to be hated by turtles personally. I, I welcome I, I want the, to be the judgment upon this world brought upon only by turtles. I can respect that. Yeah. He's pretty good. He's he's a cutie. He's he's a cutie. I, I think I'm gonna directly compare it to Cold Sight, Call Sight Snapper for having the same uh, energy of tortoise going yeah. on here. Yeah, I, I can see that. It's just that I don't know if it's effect. Like he just kind of walks across the river as being the kind it's of one five, and he will drown you like the frog in Frogger. Sure. But I don't know why the frog drowns when the turtles go under, but I eat some. Oh no! Yeah, and just like that, Mister Forever Turtle will eat you like you're a frog. Yeah, no, uh, he'll just yeah. Like I, he's he's a it's a fine turtle effect. I don't know if I would necessarily put it extremely high on the list though. Like, um, hmm, above Armored World Turtle. I put it below Armored World Turtle. Ooh. Oh dang! Y'all are way more, uh, way lower on this guy than I am. Yeah, I guess the I I, I might not be in the right uh, zone for mechanical ref like referential for turtles. That's the but thing. I yeah. I do think I like him more than Armored World Turtle. I still I like, like that. I don't like the idea of a turtle drowning me. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's fine. I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> Same. Yeah, had a good run, huh? <laughs> well, see, this is if it even wanted to. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it doesn't. You you count as a human, so. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I just I just don't like it. I I like it better than Armored World Turtle, just because it it has a little bit of like flavor to it. Obviously, Armored World Turtle is just kind of a neat looking turtle. That's about yeah. it. And I don't like it as much as Giant Tortoise just because Giant Tortoise still has that kind of good like shell effect going on. Classic turtle ability. And let us never forget Giant Tortoise, particularly that most recent art. He's really yeah. after that strawberry. Really I, after that strawberry. I like the temperament of the Armored World Turtle better. I like that it's a zero five. It's friendlier. I can respect that, but if the Mr. Yeah. River Turtle wasn't a big tortoise, I would prop like, I don't know. It just feels weird. It being a one five. So what if it was actually a snapping turtle? What's wrong with oh. a one five? What's wrong with a tortoise? I, don't know. I, I like the armored world turtle better. That's, that's fine. I'm just saying like, 
I don't see what's wrong with it also being big enough to take a bite out of yet. So I think the thing is we're comparing a sea turtle and a river turtle. Yeah. It's like comparing a sea otter and a river otter. Only a moron would do that. I mean, I think uh, if we've got concurrence here, which I think we mostly do, I think it's better. All right. Uh, let's get you through these out. Let's continue with these thrones of Eldraine turtles. How about, uh, which is weird because we also have to take a thing back into speaking of weird combinations with hydras. Uh, let's do a thunderous snapper. Now this is a, this is a many headed snapping turtle that (laughs) screams at you. So fairies fucking love that shit. Here's my thing with this. Uh huh. Is this a good turtle or is this a good hydra? See, it's I'm getting way both. more turtle vibes off of Thunder Sniper, Snapper than Hydra, but also it's got multiple heads. So? Yes, but each one of those heads is just a turtle head. It's yeah. just a turtle head. I don't but know. There's other things about Thunder Snapper that I feel just aren't very turtley. It's just. I, I feel threatened looking at Thunder Snapper in a way that I do not enjoy. Well, I, I I just like the idea of like what would make a snapping turtle more intimidating? More snappers, more snapping yeah, ability. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't care. If presented get the, with Thunder Snapper, I would be very very scared. I which hey turtle turtles can be intimidating. Turtles can be in, Disagree. intimidating. Turtles Disagree. Can, Turtles can. I'll have a snapping turtle. I'm stupid as hell. Let's go. I mean, same, but also may not be well advised. I don't quite get the ability connection here. It's kind of a thing, though. It's like, get it? Well, you see, it's a blue creature with a hybrid green creature. So, yeah, 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 I get you. I get you. But specifically with turtle, I'm not getting a lot. I'm not That's getting a lot of turtle okay. flavor there. Like I, I honestly like the idea of a many headed snapping turtle, but, yeah. but beyond that, mm, mm, I don't know. Uh, just because it's blue green doesn't mean it does anything for me. Yeah. I don't think it's a very good turtle. I like yep. Chimeric Idol more than that. I'm putting it above Vintara snapper. Hmm. I'm putting it with the other bad vibes turtles is what I'm saying. Right. I'm just trying to think, do I like it better than Vintara turtle or snapper or not? That's fair. I do. I'm because... trying to weigh in here. Yeah. Hmm. I guess Vintara snapper has, has a, a more ability. turtle effect. Yeah. Mm. It's a weird as a, a quote unquote snapping turtle, but yeah. Yeah. I like the Vintara so snapper long. better. Yeah, all right, That's fair fine. enough. I, 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 it's along. Yeah, they got some long tails. It's it's not this is not a a bad place to be, but yeah, I, I agree. A name of Serpentina, even. I think it's a pretty bad place to be. Yeah, I, the, the, the the guitar snapper and below are the the, yeah. the turtles I don't like. Exactly. He is above the turtles you don't like. That makes He's above me- one of the tur- two turtles I don't like. He's below one of the other ones. I don't hey. like Ventara Snapper. Hey, he's third, not winner. All right, let's talk about Steelbane Hydra then. Yeah, Steelbane Hydra. Uh, Steelbane Hydra. Steelbane Hydra is much better than the... the, the- it's crossing on that strawberry that's also a spear. <laughs> it's getting yeah. so dumb. Look how really hot dumb. the bells are to be crunching. Yeah, so- I really like this guy. Steelbane Hydra is actually fun for. I don't, it's actually kind of surprising that Hydras had not been any turtles beforehand, hand, because turtles have got them some long necks. Sometimes they get extendo, you know. Give me a steel a Steelbane Hydra, but like every head is a mana mana. Sure. I like this guy because he yeah, can eat it. I do I, also like this guy. I like this yeah. guy. I he can eat food, and that's great. He can try to eat a food. Yeah, I don't know how high I would put him because I, it like, mm, like, he will eat a strawberry. He will eat a strawberry. You were not wrong. Particularly, you're right. He'll even eat a food, a, a type food. Yep. Mechanically, oh, this is the, the the creature most eligible in the entire game to eat a strawberry. Yep, that, that is absolutely true. 
but like it's kind of like I like a, it better than Mist for River Turtle. Oh, well, duh, yeah. I mean, I'm just more thinking like I'm putting it ab- much higher than that personally. See, I'm putting it above Horned Turtle. I think. Sure. That's not much higher. That's like one. That's like two higher. There's only seven yeah, feet on the list right now. The turtle com- competition is very strong, well, Zorak. Th- I know, but I was like thinking, like, it's like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, when you say that, I'm like, really? Like, top five? I'm thinking, like, is he better than Thriving Turtle? Like, mm. okay, and yeah, no, I can actually be convinced for better than Thriving Turtle, too. Well, I'm, I'm not saying I'm he is. I'm just trying to figure out no, if he is or is. Oh, no, damn it. Do you think he's better than Thriving Turtle, Red? Yes. Okay, that's, I wouldn't yeah, put it fair. better than Angler Turtle because Angler Turtle still has such a no, weird turtle, turtle effect. That's a it weird. Has, it has the snapping turtle thing. That's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right. Super yeah. match is pretty good. Uh, how about Riptide Turtle? I mean, he's got <laughs> flap. Yeah, where are all these flaps coming from? He's got flash. He's That's a, a fast, fast turtle. turtle. He is a sea turtle, though. You have to give him sea that. Sea turtles are very fast, actually. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. is fair. And, and they're, they're fair, good swimmers. And also, this is basically being established as being a miracle turtle. Yeah. This is like this is like when like the that airliner crashed into like the Hudson River, and then the, the sea turtle came up and carried and everybody off the side. Showed gear. up and turned all the passengers into turtles. Yeah. <laughs> So here's my problem with Riptide Turtle. It's <laughs> where in the world are all these extra flaps coming from? And why does it have them? Fascinating. Also, why baby. do you want... Also, why are you giving your well, turtles... Fox is doing some weird shit deep in the ocean. That's canon. It's canon. Fossa, but why though? He's making some weird sea creatures. I, it's, I don't think it's bad, but why does it have two extra limbs? So it's faster. Yeah. I guess. I guess. It's for surviving in the riptide, man. Like, I, I agree. I don't quite. I'm not high on this turtle, but I don't, I don't hate it. It's not. In Defender's the, pretty good on a turtle. Yeah. Defender it, is good on a turtle. It's a zero five. Uh, and I actually don't mind it being fast because, yeah, it's a sea turtle. They are fast. Yeah. But like somewhere like that armored world turtle range, like I don't. I like Armored World Turtle more as a sea turtle. I like this guy better than Armored World Turtle. Okay. Is that how, do you like him better than Misford River Turtle? Yes. Because hmm. reminder, I thought Misford River Turtle should be yeah, the Armored yeah, World yeah, Turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. You have to be better at internalizing stuff. My dad, I it's I like the Riptide. I like that it has Defender. I I'd, mm, I probably would not put it above Misford River Turtle, but above Armor World Turtle. Ar- above Armor World Turtle is what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about Aegis Turtle. <laughs> yeah, uh, yet another turtle that it's got. The man, that's a that's a spiky sea turtle. It certainly is. Man, that's a one mana zero five too. That's a big butt for a one mana creature. Yeah, Armor World Turtle is a three mana zero five. That's a supremely strictly better turtle, isn't he? It's pretty good. Yeah, and keep on bearing the context of that this is a turtle that exists to get like mutated into being like a cat turtle. Yep. This turtle exists to have like weird stuff layered upon it. That's its entire yeah. like modus operandi. It's all of a sudden become a bird with a huge butt. Yeah. I do so like I'll, birds with huge butts. Well, actually, no, because of how that mechanic works, you just layer the thing up and the, the, the text box would just mean nothing. Yeah. Yep. He exists to be a body. I don't like that, actually. Yep. Yeah. He's I mean, he's got, big, he, he's got a big butt. Oh, great. He can block a thing. He can block a thing pretty good. I have th- the sheer amount of number on a one mana creature here is impressive though i like it better than armored world turtle yeah i don't think i like it better than riptide turtle i like it better than armored world turtle that's that's, just do. that's basically where i'm at that's yeah. what i like it a lot of sea turtles with in magic are quite similar turns I was, out. yeah i was just i was just thinking like i would like them to do more with a sea turtle like i want like thriving turtle is like our only real other like sea turtle that does something you know Mm -hmm. i want i want i want like a sea turtle flavor that's capturing more than just 
Big butt, so what? Yep. Okay, right. we have to talk about Godzilla. We have to talk about Godzilla. G -g -g Godzilla. So there's a lot of weird stuff to, to deal with here. Uh, Yadaro Wandering Monster is a dinosaur turtle. That's weird. Yep. He's, he's fast. a dopey, lovable guy who doesn't care until you make him care. Yeah, he, he's fast, but he wanders off, basically, which is kind of interesting. But yep. he does turn into shit, like Shin Godzilla also. You yeah, also, also he's, he's, yeah, he's Godzilla. Th that, and particularly Shin Godzilla. Yeah. Not Gamera, Godzilla. This is a very weird card. Yeah, like oh, there's Coria. All of the Coria is weird. Yeah. I know. Yeah, Coria was a very strange place in yeah. like everything going on with the Coria. Like I do appreciate that his turtle effect is somewhat reminiscent of meandering tower shell in the sense of you know like it it's a thing that wanders off. You know, it takes a bit. But this in this one also, its slowness is more that you you cycle it and then it just goes away. And the haste there is more as like a payoff thing from finally showing up, which sure, mm -hmm. fair. That's I get it. There's something interesting in that, but he's a dinosaur turtle. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's almost missing the point in a way. It's kind of like it it's it's diluting what I want out of a turtle. Yeah. Cause all those things that you just described are also true of dinosaurs. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But also, you know what I mean, though. Like, it's Triple not. Triple Haste is pretty dinosaur y. I'll throw that out there. Yeah. yeah. It's not very turtly. That's a good difference. Also, as a look, I feel he's more like Ankylosaur or something than turtle. Glyptodon. Yeah, sure. He's, yeah, you're right. Actually, yes, you're right, which isn't a dinosaur, but. It's not. It's a weird mammal. It should be like an armadillo or something. It, but it is not related to the armadillo. Should be like an armadillo or something. Oh man, armadillo turtles. Sorry, go on. Too powerful and just be to be the text box indestructible. Oh, um, no, not feeling it. No, sorry. Yeah, I, like, I, I like it, but I don't. I, I love I like Yudara. It. Yudara was a sweetheart. I like it as its own separate thing, but as a He's turtle, a man, no, no, I'm not feeling it. This is like this is like some scuttle gator shit. This, which I love, scuttle gator, but also, no, no, man, no. Nah. I like uh -huh. him more than the turtles I don't like. I'll throw that out there. I, I like him more than Mintara Snapper, but I'm fine with putting oh, it just no, there below Carmen no, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Thunder Wait, Snapper. You think Vintara take... I like him better than Worm Fang Turtle. That's, yeah, it's like in that range. Like I like him le less than Thunder Snapper. Hell, I'd put him above <laughs> Scuttle Gator. As a turtle, I love Yadaro. He's very fun. Yeah, I think that that's still too low. I I still like him more than those. You I don't like, like a long turtle that looks like it's wearing a shirt. This is also a long turtle wearing yeah. nothing. He's barely. That's fine. He's barely, barely got a shell. Turtly. He's barely got a shell. It's there. He's got hard skin. That's different. He's barely. He's got, got hard a shell. skin and also the shell. He, he says head is not turtly enough. He's too beefy. I think you're a little bit too low on him. I can't argue fully against it. So, okay. So I'm thinking like below, like above Worm Fang. Same. Okay. I don't like Worm Fang Turtle. It's still gross. I also don't like Worm Fang Turtle. I hate Worm Fang Turtle. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll wrap this up. We have to talk about Arcalos. Arcalos, our first, well, second, I guess, actually, technically, second legendary turtle. It's a but turtle also man. first turtle person. It's a turtle yeah, man. First turtle man. He's a turtle man. Um, this guy's rules. That's like, he just has a slowdown effect built into him. That's dumb. It's two four. Slows things down. He's got the swamp colors. Feuds with a hair. Yep. It's kind of like the platonic ideal of a turtle man. And, you know what? It's pretty good. That is pretty strong, yeah. Yeez. It's definitely kind of nailing all of the turtle set. It's kind of getting all of it. Like, he's slow. Yeah. Mm. Also, he looks real cool. He, he looks look cool. like a real cool turtle. Yep. He's a mystical turtle. Yep. 
Got a nice think, friendly smile on him. I like the the fact that it, according to like his whole thing, it's also this magic. Also, even in like the setting, is being around with him also makes you slow down. Uh, it's by being around him. For that rabbit. Man. Our close is pretty good, but we are sorry. We we finally have to come up to our problem of how do we rate this compared to the rest of these. I mean, the same way we did hummerids and crabs. We treat them all. Hummerids like, are different. Hummerids are all like people I mean, anyway. We, we we we've literally dealt with like trolls who have like names and like you know jobs and s- children that they I adopt. feel like both of like, those are different. I don't I, Arcalos here. Thrun Thrun is a the perfect counterexample of no. That is a troll who has a lore. He's got a lifestyle. He's got regrets. He's got an adopted Stubble human regrets. daughter. And I love him. Yep. I also love Troll Dad, but I'm I the still Thrun feel father. like it's it's different. I I, I don't I don't I don't agree. This is. I a, think. I think the way that I've been personifying every creature we've done, we've been giving them names. We've yep. been giving them things they do. It's the same thing. It, so, it sounds like you need to discover animism. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> everything. Everything has. Everything has a soul. Okay. So trees. No. Um. I bet he loves strawberries. Oh man, he this almost guy. certainly does. This dude is just honking on a fucking like handful of strawberries every yeah. single t- chance he gets. I'll give you a burger today for three strawberries tomorrow. Wait. <laughs> that fe- okay, you know what? He he goes at a uh, life slow. Makes sense. Yeah. Exactly. He's he's wait playing the long game for extra strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I think he's good. Like honestly, I think this is we are. I think he might be the best turtle. Oh, I don't see. That's where I'm at. It's like, it's like, uh, dude, I meandering we'll tower, meandering shell, tower is, shell though. It's so good. Like meandering I, tower shell doesn't come out until the turn after you play him. Basically. Yeah. yeah I, I agree that I think he's better than giant turtle. Giant turtle has a great, you know, slowness effect of his. Don't get me wrong. I think it's probably better than giant turtle. But oh man, Meandering Tower Shell is so good. It Meandering is. Tower Shell, I think, is the best turtle. Arkelos is a good second best. Oh, he's so wise. He, he is, is very wise. wise. Good turtle quality. Meandering Tower Shell, probably also wise in his own way. Yeah. Gets lost, died. It happens. Yeah, he's a skeleton now. I do appreciate that Arkelos has is in fact higher toughness and power still. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He does have the swamp colors. Yeah. Which is, was a funny thing where people were actually, I saw, were poking at, like, well, why, where is this ability in these colors? It's like, they're the swamp and turtle it's colors, like, damn it. Like the turtle. I can, run, I can run a turtle commander deck now. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yes, you can. God, I just can't run Yadaro. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, are you really missing out? I like I like Yadaro as a card. He's fun. Yeah. I'm just trying to think like, is this better than Meandering Tower Shell or worse than Meandering Tower Shell? I don't think he's worse. I just don't think he's better. And I can't have them be tied. And I I like Meandering Tower Shell for some seniority. Look into Arcalos' eyes. Search your I soul. Am. Search your soul. Uh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> yep. he, do- he does have very cute eyes. So does we, so does me entering tower shell. He does. Man. Man, this is, this might actually be the hardest conundrum I've had. Not, not for me. It's Arcalos is better than turtle McTurtle. It's not really for me either. I'm, I'm all in on uh, tower shell is better. Damn, but why does everything have to be on me? This is, uh, no, no. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? In the Turtle Civil Which War. Which of these two cards do you have a deck that's comprised entirely of three cards of, including like fifteen meandering tower shells? Okay, that's that's true. I do have a deck that's entirely made out of meandering tower shells and is incredibly illegal. But oh, that is a good point. You can't do that with Arcalos. 
You can't well, do that behind the tower shell. Well, one of them isn't a legendary, so you can have more than one of them out. I mean, in in, in free form formats, you can do whatever you want. Monster. You've been the up legend rule doesn't get deck. turned off for kitchen table. That's yeah, true. Ugh. I'm just staring into his eyes. Still. He's so full of wisdom. Patience. I think I have to give it to Meandering Tower Shell. This is really close for sure. me, but uh, I... Look, the important thing is you took your time. Yeah, th yeah, it's it's close. Thanks, Arkelos! I get it, but uh... I just, there's just something about the almost the elegance in a way of meandering tower shell. There's like, there's a, the simplicity of it is the beauty. I think in a, in a way it's sure. sim It's a simple turtle effect. Arkelos gets it, but it has to kind of combine a bunch of different effects together to kind of get the turtle is also, I kind of like the, the, the purity of the non sapient turtle. That's just huge. Sure. Also just a huge thing. Just wandering off. So this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Yeah, that Asylum Guard killed it. We don't know if that was the only one. No, the the yeah, dragon okay, definitely okay, killed okay. all of the tower shell. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll go back to the, we'll Do you know have how them back in the tower shell. We they will get them back for all for all we for all we all the tower shells. Hey, for all for all we know. Maybe they start as really tiny, normal-sized turtles and work their way up. Maybe, maybe they can come back once the dragons are dealt with. Who could say? Who could say? Well, we did it. <laughs> we got yep. through it. Yep. Well, how many trolls are in Kaldheim so far? Oh God. <laughs> how many swords have they shown in that set so far? Oh, oh God. They even showed a new Yeti. There's even a There's new a Yeti. There's an imp in that set, man. Oh, God.